Thank you for Everybody that. Everybody mute and then act like you're talking. Bam, uh, bam. <laughs> hey. Extra thick. <laughs> How did you sound exactly like him? I practiced How? a lot. Everybody that. mute and then act like you're uh, talking. Uh, bam, bam. <laughs> Hey. How you doing, Noah? <laughs> oh.
Let me know when you unmute so I can say penis. I literally unmuted as you were saying penis. <laughs> great. And so now I am also unmuted and I'm transitioning over to us. Hello and welcome to penis. I mean, d and I mean, the heart of darkness. Holy God. So we're starting off lewd tonight, which is super exciting. Uh, hi, welcome to the Heart of Darkness episode 15. We've actually made it over three months at this point worth of game content, which is pretty sweet. Um, so hi, I'm Throck. I'm my channel. I play D&D &D a lot. Uh, you saw me Wednesday and you saw some of these other fine folks Wednesday too. So we're going to do a quick round of hi hellos from everyone. Uh, we'll go in the same order I always do, starting with Kim. Tell us, say hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, Kim streams it. Still Kazara, still a sorcerer, still likes yeah. to run in front of everyone else and get stabbed. Yeah. Kazara gives no fuck. That's <laughs> true. Uh, and right below that is Andrea. Hi. Uh, I still play Jax. <laughs> Jax is our bard. Yeah, still there. Yeah. Not dead yet. <laughs> yet. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and right next to that is, uh, do you want to be... Can I say your real name, or are you just one Ben Boomerang? It's up to you. Yeah, you can say I'm Noah. Noah! <laughs> <laughs> this is me, hi. Hey. <laughs> Noah plays a really old fighter. I know, you're a really old fighter. <laughs> that was precious. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and then next to that, I am, I'm actually not looking at the stream, but next to that is Vim, I think, right? Than Rand. Yeah. Hi. Hi. He still plays a uh, rogue. Yeah, okay. I'm still a rogue. Still roguey. All right. Very and then rogue. up and to the right from that is the excellent Miss Bryn. Hello. Hello. Got a ranger. Got a little dog named Ghost. Likes to rip things throats out. Did a lot of it last week, actually. A lot of throat ripping. Uh, but without any further ado, who wants to tell us what happened last week? I can do it. Do it, Barb. Okay. okay. So, we had just ended a dino race, and we got information to um, send to Wakanga some, some evidence that there was foul play at the race. And um, we had this letter, and he gave us information about the organization Zentari. And, um, I think uh, it's what Tari. it's called. Um, and... After that, we decided to go. Oh, well, first, um, we decided to go to the inn and we got crazy drunk. Crazy. Um, oh, yeah, that was great. Um, some weird stuff happened with Jackson Byer, and um, we also had to save Byer from drowning after he had gotten drunk for the first time in his life. Um, and after we had rested, we decided to go to Fort Valerian to get our papers. Um, on the way, we got uh, into a skirmish with some ghouls. And um, unfortunately, when we got to Fort Valerian, we weren't fast enough. And we ran into Asrak? Wait, is that, is that the name? Asrak. Asrak. Um, and uh, we got into a battle where we almost all died, um, and that's kind of where we were. We left off. That's um, correct. Oh, Fort Valerian was like in flames, and yes. it seemed like maybe we didn't get there in time to save everyone. So indeed, uh, and that's right. We meet our adventurers now, just as the massacre at Fort Valerian ends. Their buddy Byer, the NPC cleric of the group, lays on the ground not seemingly able to be woken up. Flames rising from the fort. The smell of death surrounds them. What do you do? I, I pick how, up how, Byer. Yeah, how dead is he? <laughs> yeah, I want to run over to Byer and just, like, and, and look down at him and, and assess, like, if he's dead or not. What? Make a medicine um, check. Uh, um, he is still breathing. 
as much as he he is still respirating in the way that you you normally expect him to respirate. However, it's not really breathing. It has to do with you know roots and, and leaves and stuff. However, he does have a wound directly in the center of his chest that is starting to grow black, and there are these tendrils starting to come out of it. Did we see him get in that wound? Yeah, uh, it was from uh, Orioth. Who was the kind of lieutenant? Tiefling, right? Yeah, the tiefling lieutenant of Azarek. Stab him right in the chest. Am I am I near him enough where I can go touch him and Absolutely. cast cure wounds on him? You totally can. Is that what we already tried? I don't think that's yeah. It's different, yeah. As you go to touch him, do you guys say this? Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I want to intervene and say I don't think this is helping. I think we need to, we need like an alchemist help to stop this. We don't, we don't have a cure for this, right? Uh, I mean, your medicine check did not lead you to believe there's anything you can do here. Absolutely not. Does, I think I hate this is my idea, but like, is there something magical happening to him? Like, I'll say this, like, hey, Kazara, you know magic really well. <laughs> I, okay. I know it not shit at all, so who knows magic? I'd like to take to, to check and see if there's something magical going on. Okay. Uh, make an arcana Sorry, check. Gonna... Yeah, my arcana's not great. Uh, you get the, the, the stench of necromancy from the wound. Is it just me, or is this the same like stuff that was happening to those? Like this is this is the death curse. Uh, it is. It's interesting because what you've seen on people who have already died feels like this, except it's like it. It's their whole being, right? And it's from some external source that's kind of affecting them. This necrotic energy is coming directly from the wound. This isn't like a amputation thing. Like you it's in the center of his chest. Yeah, it's right. Right there. Can't really amputate his chest. Mm -hmm. We need a tree surgeon! Stat! Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> right, like... You're a botanist. Is anyone a botanist? I'm only possessed possessed by the druid spirit. I don't actually have any druidic powers. All I have is a collection of pressed leaves in a book. Oh, maybe you could stuff those in his necrotic hole. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean for that to sound lude, but I could see the fucking look on your face right now. Not only that, but I also wouldn't want to intrude on Jax's territory there. I yeah. think <laughs> I think that we have to get outside help for this. Yeah, we have to so. tell people it's me because I think this has a time limit. Uh, can I cursed. can I send Rowena to see if there's like anyone nearby that we could call for help or go find? Uh, yeah. Um, she can go about a mile away with you able to uh, continue telepathic contact uh, and nothing within a mile of you right now. Son of a bitch, you useless bird. <laughs> Do we know of any like other settlements that we may have passed or seen on a map or anything? Uh, you have your map. Um, yeah. In fact, you're on it right now. There is an active mine about 15 miles to the southeast of you guys. Oh, it would fire last that long? Better than Port Nine Zaru. That's true, because that's way farther. And we had to take yeah, a Yeah, because aren't we like four days from there? And if we rush, we can get there today. Are we going to carry him the whole time? Like, I mean... Why don't we just like carve him into like a cart or something? You know, like roll him? <laughs> Turn him into a cart. <laughs> Put him back. Um, actually, here in the fort, is there anything like that? Like a cart or horse? Is there anything like that here? There is a cart. Is there a horse to pull the cart? Uh, go ahead. Uh, make an investigation check. 
so you make your way over to the stables, and the stables are on fire. Um, but you do, in the rush of everything, notice that some few horses bolted out of the fort. And you're able to start tracking them down. Okay. Hurry and try and catch one. Like, it's gone and I need to go find it? Yeah, they're not in the, the fort anymore. They've bolted. They they ran away. Can we okay. see if... I check if there's, like, tracks on the ground. Yeah, okay. that's what Vim just did. Oh, okay. Yeah, yep. yeah. So, what I want to do... And guys, if you have a better idea, let me know. I would like Bren and me to go find these horses. Um, I would say if you guys can maybe, like, see if there's any cool stuff left around here and see if there's any signs of anything like maybe we can find some papers that we need like just sitting around maybe somewhere i don't know if there are people that we might be able to save does that sound like a plan or does that sound like a really bad idea uh i mean someone should someone stay with buyer or does it really matter at this point we can carry him with us stay with him yeah, I mean, it's not that far. Like, it's all kind of, it's not that big of a place, right? I'll stay with him then. How big is Fire? Uh, he's person-sized. He's like 6'2". He's just heavy oh, whoa. and dense because he's... Uh, solid wood. Because he's made of solid wood. Yeah. I always thought he was like really short for some reason. Oh. No, no, he's he's tall. Like a bonsai? <laughs> yeah, he's like a, <laughs> he's like a I, curated bonsai tree. He's huge. He Six feet tall. I've been trying to pick him up this whole time, but he's he's a tree. He's literally <laughs> yes, he is a tree person. <laughs> he's a so person you, of the trees. Why can't I? Uh, Bryn and Vim are going to. I'm just reading your guys' video description. By the way, your little nicknames on the corner of your freaking video, and I'm dying. Um, <laughs> you guys are gonna go take buyer to the mine, right? Is That's that what you said? That's the closest settlement we know of. Okay. And then and you... So, and so there's carts here, but there's no horses. The horse is bolted, so if what we can get a horse, we can load it in the When you go over to the mine, I guess. Do what? Can ghost pull it? I don't know if ghost could pull a cart, Some could dog. he? I mean... That's a legitimate question. I guess you guys can pull uh, a, a cart, cart loaded with buyer. Not at more than a, a walking speed. Not enough to hurry and get to the mine. No, because essentially you'd either be sending one person off with the cart and it would just be that person and buyer in the cart, or you'd have to find enough, or you'd have to find enough horsepower to get everyone in the cart and have you all move at the same speed, right? Would finding the horses be a realistic thing, would I know if that's realistically viable? Um, somebody should make an animal handling check. Or I could check, or I could send Rowena and see if she can see them. I can do animal uh, handling. Yeah, yeah you, uh, if you want to make an animal handling, and can you make a perception check for Rowena? I, I have a... Can I... Is there an assisting thing with, an, with animal handling, or... Yeah, if you assist, like it will give her uh, advantage, so she can... I would like to assist, since we're kind of... So yeah, so Bryn, you can go ahead and roll again. See if you get something better. Uh, you got a twenty, which is great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you don't because of the, the how thick the jungle is right around you here. Um, it's hard to see beyond the clearing into the woods. But Bryn, you know that horses when they bolt, they don't go that far. They know where their house is, right? Um, so they're just looking for the first safest place they can find. Okay, so they have to okay, be so I, It wouldn't take us too long to find a horse. and No. Okay. Okay. So do we want to go out there? I figured you would be good since you're a ranger. You would be good at helping track this kind of stuff down. Mm-hmm. And if we and take Ghost with us, he can help us. Yeah, he can kind of scout around us, make sure we're not... Did they bolt off to the north, south, east, or west? Which... Uh, as you follow the trail out, they uh, you see that they kind of went out to the... Uh, oh, yeah, so this is north-oriented. They kind of went out to the southeast of your position. Okay. 
So what I'd like you to do is if you're heading out of camp to go look for the horses, make a survival check. Are um, we all going, or who's? Okay. Is it just uh, me and Bryn, it, or? It, it takes you about 15 minutes, and you're able to, once you head out in the insane. woods, find four, the, uh, four horses. Enough to pull four two horses. Nice. Yep. Cool. Yeah. So Bryn's helping me pull these horses back with us, I guess. Yeah. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah, between the two of you, damn. Damn, team! Between the two <laughs> of you, you're able to get them rounded up and uh, uh, <clears throat> back within about a total of a half an hour. While they were doing that, I wanted I wanted to look around the fort and see if I see any papers or what else I can find. Yeah, make an investigation check. Yeah, because we can find the papers and not have to worry about it. That'd be great. So as you guys, who is anybody else looking around the fort? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking. If okay. they went out for the horses, I'm looking. All right, go ahead and make an investigation check. Fuck. Uh, so, Jax. <laughs> uh, as, this is a place of intense destruction. Most of the buildings have been lit on fire. There are very few people here still breathing, two or three. Uh, the, the folks who turned traitor in this camp uh, did an incredible job, and you think it's likely that the necrotic power of Aserak himself leached the life out of those who were most critically wounded as well. Um, so it is, a, it is a scene of devastation. And uh, as you look through, you see on here this large central building, right, with this star in it. Um, that is kind of the main organizational compound. And you, you're able to work your way in there after a little while. Um, you have to move some fallen timbers out of the way. <laughs> you literally have to put out some fires. The back half of the building itself is still burning, but the front half seems to be relatively untouched, luckily enough. And that's where the primary administration functions of Fort Balerian happen. Um, once you head in there, uh, I want you to give me one more investigation check. Okay. Both of us or just her? Both of you can do it, for sure. Uh, Vim, uh, as you guys are looking through that area, you actually notice a couple of things. First of all, there are, uh, on one of what looks like it's a, a rattan desk, right? Made of bamboo and, and, and slatted reeds. There is uh, a number of different stacks of paper and a number of different stamps in front of each stack of paper. Um, oddly untouched, thanks to rolling critically. Uh, you... I was going to say, that should definitely be flammable. Yeah. Uh, it, you find what looks to be the the release form for anyone who's allowed to adventure. I'll just awesome. grab all of those. Yeah. Okay. There's as many as I can. I don't know how many there are, but uh, while you're picking up, you you read it and you realize you only need one. Um, but if you want to take them all, you totally can. I'd like uh, to but, take them all. But they do need to have the official stamp on them. Is that so is that also here? Did yeah, I find that's that? Yeah, that's the my stamp critical? that's in front of. There's a stamp in front of each pile of papers. Don't take the stamp. Each, yeah. Yep. Let's take the stamp and the papers yep. and anything else interesting here? Or is that all I was? Just uh, yeah. Holding? Behind one of the other desks, you find uh, a locked chest. Ooh, yeah. I'm going to pick that lock. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Make a lock check. With my thieves tools. Dexterity. Oh, one second. How smart were they? Not smart. Okay. You're able to book, uh, pick the lock right open. And you find uh, a number of different things in there. This seems to be where they kept kind of mission-critical items for folks coming in and out. You find four potions of cure wounds. Ooh. Someone take notes. I two, am. two potions of uh, cure superior wounds. Ooh. Two and potions? One, yes, and one greater. Uh, there are also four scrolls. Okay. And so by the time four you guys potions are... of cure wounds, yes. two potions of superior cure wounds, mm -hmm. and four scrolls, and five hundred gold. Five hundred. Okay. Yep. That'll go into the party fund. Yeah. Uh, and by the time you guys have finished your investigation, kind of navigated through what is essentially a charnel house, uh, Kazara and um, Bryn make it back with the horses as well. Awesome. All right. So, and they're definitely magical squirrels. Jax. We don't, we don't, oh, yeah, okay. but say, do we have anybody that uses scrolls for magic, or can anybody use a scroll? Can I, um, I would a like caster to, can use a caster. scroll for magic. Anybody who can innately cast magic. 
I'd like to check what the scrolls are exactly. Absolutely, make an arcana check. you actually need to make an arcana check to read scrolls we've just been making so many checks you know i'm gonna say no you don't because you magic and so as you open the scrolls you find the following you find a scroll of lesser restoration uh you find a scroll of revivify you find a scroll of fireball nice and okay. a scroll of detect good or evil. Okay. Revivify brings someone back from the dead, right? As long as it's used in one minute. Within one minute of death. Within one minute of them failing their final death saving throw, yes. Okay. okay. Is Byer making death saving throws right now? You don't know. Uh, no. Can't. He's also not technically dead, as he is still respirating. Yeah. This is quite the soap opera. Maybe he's just paralyzed. We need to... Well, the the uh, fucking chest room probably is doing him anything. It's like, the only chance we've got, though. Uh, as you guys have all come back together, uh, could Zara make me an, uh, an arcana check? I'll give you both a chance. <laughs> I'm the least arcane sorcerer ever. Ever, ever, ever. Yes, okay. Um, but I'm intimidating AF. You are hey. intimidating AF. Um, okay, yeah, so you've got the scroll of restoration, the scroll of revivify, or lesser restoration, the scroll of revivify, the scroll of fireball, and the scroll of detect good and evil. What does lesser restoration do? So, I'm glad you asked. Lesser Restoration removes uh, bad things from people. It, mm. Yeah, so if there's a nasty condition on someone, it could it has an opportunity to remove that condition. Hmm, huh. that sounds interesting. Sounds applicable to our current predicament. It sounds like that might actually help us right now. Perhaps mm. someone with an innate magical casting ability could try this. This is my wisdom speaking, not my intention. Are you looking at me? Oh, or I could just read it for fun. <laughs> I could, I would like to try to cast it. That's very responsible. Who has the highest casting modifier? Uh, <laughs> my charisma is four. Minus seven. Than Eighteen. <laughs> Minus seven. Eighteen. What? Wait. What? Modifier. Modifier, modifier three. So your spellcasting modifier is three, Kazara's is four. Oh, okay. Like when you cast a... I'm sorry, we're metagaming as... No, no, we're, you're, you're being metagaming as fuck right now. Yes. Sorry. Let me compare our numbers that don't exist. Okay. Yeah. We could do the same conversation, but just use yeah, different words. who is words. better at magic? There we go. Or On a scale can... of one to ten... I don't know. Uh, I'm they both seem pretty good at magic. Well, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, I would be happy to try and, and save Baya. Uh, are we using the scroll of restoration on Baya? Is that what we've agreed upon? The, yeah. the lesser restoration, right? The one that removes status ailments? Yep. yep. All right. I will use the scroll of lesser restoration to attempt to remove this necrotic effect from Baya. Sweet. Um, as you read the words off the page, uh, this glowing golden light kind of starts dripping like hot wax um, from the page itself onto and around the wound on his chest. Uh, you see it kind of fall into the places where the, the black necrotic ooze had been, and it starts receding, receding, and it's gone. And it seems to have cured him of whatever this is. He still has a really nasty chest wound, uh, and he's still passed out. But it seems like whatever you did cured the necrotic, whatever was stopping him from being healed. Oh, that was a lucky guess. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, no idea if that would work. <laughs> I really wasn't sure myself. Wow, that worked out great. So now if we cast Cure Wounds, it would actually, hopefully, do we want to try? I don't know. Or if we give I mean, him I a can't do potion? It, so. <clears throat> I'll pull out my Saturn and I'll ca- use it to cast Cure Wounds. Awesome. Um, are you going to sing any specific song with it? Um, uh, I'm putting yes. you on the spot. If you, okay. <clears throat> um, 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 baby, please don't go. If I wake up tomorrow, will you still be here? I don't know. Ooh. <laughs> Love it. All right. Uh, go ahead and roll for the heal. It's uh, 1d8 plus 4. Because Art is moved by the song. Just a single tear. <laughs> She's just like... 1d8 plus 4, you said? Plus 4. Okay. Unless you nice. cast it at a higher... Level. It's yeah. a magical item and it's cast at that level. So. Um, all right. So uh, as you sing this song, you, you see the wound close and there's this shaking of leaves as he, he breathes in more, uh, more vigorously and he, his eyes open up and he grabs you by the hand and he smiles. So glad you're okay. I am alive now. I don't know if I'm okay. That was terrifying. Where are we? What happened? You drank a whole lot again. Uh, (laughs) We've been partying ever since, buddy. (laughs) We kicked an entire army's ass for you. Oh, wow. Thank you. Uh, No problem. You're safe now. So you don't remember anything that happened? Uh, I remember coming up to the gate, seeing a big scary thing, and then everything else was a blur. Same. Well, it seems like this whole place burned down, and uh, we're lucky to be alive. But I'm glad we're okay. Yes. Where do we go? What do we do? What's next? Well, we got the papers we needed. And we have horses for some reason. We have horses and a cart, so I mean... Two carts. Two carts. Really resourceful. No. I don't think we need two carts. We're all right with just one. I'm just being greedy. Yeah. Maybe some of us don't want to walk, Vim. God. No, that's fine. We can ride in the cart. That's fine. <laughs> it's pretty, like, it's, it's, we're not talking about a schooner here, right? Like, it's just a... <laughs> a schooner is a boat. <laughs> a schooner is also a... Car, a wagon that has a tarp over it. Okay, Mr. Smarty uh, Pants. <laughs> I just got educated. Uh, mm-hmm. John got schooled. Yeah. Well, All right, team. Well, we have our papers. Uh, we, have, we have our papers, and we don't need to worry about the mine anymore. We've got our buyer. We need a guide. We need, we need a guide. guide. We need to go probably on our way into the jungle, stop back by Port Nianzaru. Pick up our weapons. We can't pick up our weapons until we return from the thing, right? No, the, the, you paid for your weapons. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, let's go get our weapons and find a guide. Yeah, because yeah, the weapons so, are to help us assemble. Yep, and then we need to discuss which one of these guides we're hiring. Mm-hmm. All right. Hopefully they're still available. What happens? So tally ho? Are we are we we're hitching up these horses and all like is the cart big enough for all of us to ride in? Uh, one cart is big enough for all of you to ride in. Cool. This is the same kind of supply cart you saw on your way up here. Oh yeah, with the with the with the traders. Okay. Yeah. I guess we got a I guess we got a caravan now. Yeah, we're traveling in style. 
We got a big old con. We got a big old con. Let's keep this. Break her to the corner. We got a con, boy. <laughs> all right cool so how many horses do we need for that one uh, two, cart two, eight, two two horses for that cart yeah. who's real good at horsing uh my animal handling eh, someone else will do it i think it might be k good all right my name is bren sorry bren mine <laughs> you reminded me of somebody else for a moment i'm sorry <laughs> you look like someone else from now uh, all right. All right. Yeah. So go ahead and make me an animal handling check real quick. Yeah. Uh, you guys are great. You actually, uh, you head you head out about midday the first day, and um, after doing after getting the horses and healing buyer and 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 investigating everything, and uh, it's about noon by the time you guys are able to head out of the ruins of Fort Valerian, and so you only make it uh, about ten miles on that first day, um, but you are moving at a much faster clip. Than you yeah. were just on foot, definitely. Awesome. And comfortable, cool. and we got wagons. Yep. Uh, okay. And so we. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. So. Um, the next couple of days actually pass relatively uneventfully for you all. Um, it's not until the third day on the trail when you actually run into, uh, you see coming up the trail on the other, uh, from the southwest of you, uh, two carts. Uh, they're just off in the distance right now, um, but they're coming, they're approaching you guys kind of going in opposite directions. Ooh, we got ourselves our first cart joust. <laughs> yeah, I have a question. Yep. <laughs> And this is taking us a couple of days to get there. Is there any way that we could take turns, like getting a full rest in the process oh. of it? Yeah, yeah every I'm night I'm assuming you guys got a full rest, so you're yeah. back at hit, full hit points, got Damn. your spells back, you're good to go. I just wanted to clarify that to Hirsch. make yeah. sure. We oh. got us. All right, so. Um, are they close enough for me to perceive anything about them? Uh, I mean, you can make a perception check. They're probably about a mile off right now. But you have those half-elf eyes. Yeah. What do your elf eyes see? <laughs> those um, eyes they're do. wearing uh, the burning uh, the flaming fist tablets. Oh, yeah? yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, we're about to have some fun. We, we gotta tell all these dudes either something they don't know or something they do know, and we'll find out real quick. Do we have any reason to distrust the Flaming Fist at this point? As we were going to Fort Balurian, we saw a cart leaving them. It was was it that the same day or was that the day before? Yeah, it was like two days before. Oh well, then maybe okay. not. Maybe that's not a big deal. No, I don't think we have any reason to distrust them. Yeah, they're largely a lawful organization, isn't that yeah, right? Yeah, they're just super dicks. Super dicks. Everybody you talk to is like they're super dicks. As an order pass by without acknowledging them, just go about our merry way. I'm fine with that. I mean, try it and see what happens. Just be yeah. like, I mean, if they talk to like, us, we'll yeah. talk to them. We're not going to be like assholes or anything, but we'll see. You got two cards. We got two cards. Same Z's. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should do that. All right. So as you guys head down the trail, they pass you. Um, and they'll hail you, and we'll be like, "Well met." Well met. Well, he talks more like this. How's the trail ahead? Just as you're kind of passing. Uh, it's a little bumpy in parts, but you know it's still there. Excellent. Safe travels, stranger. You too. Uh, and other than that, they pass without any sort of uh, meh. You know, just kind of go by two carts full of stuff. On their way from Port Nineshard to Fort Pelurian, or Port Nineshard to Fort Pelurian. Um, <laughs> By the way, there's no Fort Pelurian. Just heads up. <laughs> oh, by the you way, it's part of the ground. I found it that. Bye. <laughs> uh, cool. <laughs> I to tell you. I just kind of cough and say. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Should we have said? Are we going to get our asses kicked for if if they find it, I'll destroy it, and us yeah, on the way out? Yeah, I was kind of wondering that. Too. That's what I was worried about. Hey. But we were all like, let's just go. Yeah. And I'm like, all right. They asked us how the trail was, not how, yeah, they didn't Fort ask us how Fort Valerian was. Good point. 
Fair point. They didn't ask about Fort Polarium. Remember our faces. Yeah. I mean, who knows? It could happen in the next couple of days that it takes right. them to get there. We've been on the road for a couple of days. There's no way we were involved. <clears throat> we are safe. It wasn't us. It wasn't me. The fires are still burning. <laughs> Uh, I would like to have Kazara circling our wagon as we go, if that's if she could follow us. She absolutely can. Um, it seems like uh, there are people who will uh, kind of come up the trail a little bit and then either veer off to go fishing and you'll see them before you meet them on the trail, or they'll kind of veer off into the woods to do whatever they're doing in the woods. Uh, you do pass another couple of riders on their way uh, uh, just during your travel down the path, but... As you have uh, Kazara follow, not Kazara, sorry. As you Rowena, have, I said it, yeah, I said yeah, myself. Yeah. yeah, as you have Rowena follow them, almost none of them are actually going up to the fort. They're all going about some other form of business on the coast, fishing or hunting or something. And with that, another day passes, and uh, you make it to the ferry uh, across the bay to Port Ninezar. Yeah. Where it's uh, going to cost extra to take a cart and some horses. That's fine. Should we, we just found 500 gold. I think we're okay. Oh, uh, yeah. How much? Yeah, we have a lot of gold in our yeah, party. That's 10 fund, gold horses, 5 gold each. So that's 20 gold and then 2 gold per person. Cross. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 32 gold. 32 I mean, gold. I'm How much gold do we have in our party fund right now? Rolling in luxury. Yeah, Wait thought. a minute. I want all of that money 13, to go. To I, have, I have quite a bit of my own. Um, 1330, this nice. plus 500 was just added. So um, so I don't know 13, how that money 30. is split against this. I thought all the 500 could just go into the party fund and. Oh, wait. So you guys are able to uh, afford yeah, your 32 gold. Easily to, afford yeah, it. Uh, hop on the uh, the next ferry. Uh, it takes a little while. There's only four large barges, barges a day uh, that'll fit your horses and stuff. Um, and you're able to catch the second one. Uh, so that one happens around noon. It takes about an hour and a half to get across the bay. Uh, so you end up back in Port Nainzaru in the middle of the afternoon. After do, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten days of travel, um, you guys are back in Port Nines are. You guys think we should tell somebody about yeah. what happened at Fort Balerian? I yeah. do. I feel like it's our duty to. Should we only one person at random. Oh. Yeah, just one person we see at the docks. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Guess what happened? Way. See you. Uh, or Balurian, and then we just keep on walking. Is it the Merchant Prince? Wakanga. Yeah, it's Wakanga. Wakanga. Not, not Wakanda. Wakanda. See, this is confusing. Wakanda. I I mean, we have to go up and tell him. Yeah, we need to tell him at least. Or we might have something like, to do with what he's looking into. Send a... With the Zentarum. Send a messenger pigeon or something. Do they have that, or do we have to go up there and tell them? Uh, I, I mean, think I'd rather not risk. The sensitive information. It feels like sensitive information. And even though he seems annoyed every time we go talk to him. <laughs> well, then fuck that guy. Let's just go and do our own stuff. <laughs> yeah, wait. Where yeah, are the I don't, I don't care. Stuff? I mean, it's up. I mean,. Yeah, who do we want to report to? I can't. So there's no one to save. It's like, there's nothing, you know, I mean, they'll, the Flaming Fist will figure it out. I mean, it's their thing. <laughs> I mean, is there anyone that we do? I don't think we like, have anyone that we're like in. We're not indebted to anybody right now. Like, we, yeah, we, we need to, we'd like to go help the lady with the stuff, the lady that's making our <laughs> weapons, and we'd like to help Wakanga with his looking into that stuff. And what else is that? What's our, what's our, like, we've got a main quest and then side quests. Oops. We should, uh, we should at least, like, just be like, 
uh, news from the town over. It's sacked. Okay, bye. It's like, sacked. To someone. Like, yeah. It's, Everything it's, it's, is fucked. At yeah, because they're like, just... Oh have an overwhelming urge to like make sure this doesn't happen to someone else or like hey someone's yeah, still flying true. towns is there like a, a sea captain like a swarthy someone just at the yeah. docks like is there an attractive seaman around <laughs> seaman around here <laughs> what does a guy have to do to find some semen around here <laughs> I just need to get stuck in with some semen <laughs> is there anyone who's like remotely yeah. uh, important I, there's the harbor master uh, I would like to tell the harbor master that hey we just came from Fort Belurian <laughs> it was burned to the ground what? Uh, the harbor master is a ruddy looking dwarf um, who stands in essentially what is a very well appointed market stall that went into the, the ports uh, kind of up on some steps uh, so he can oversee everything and he looks down at you from it, because uh, he's actually about four feet above you from where he is. And he goes, Wait, what are you talking about? Well, we were just at Fort Belurian trying to acquire our paperwork to complete our journey. And there were quite a few lives lost and property lost. And everything was, was burned to the ground. Uh, we have quite a lot to deal with, but I really wanted to let somebody know so that it could be passed along. What happened? We don't know. It was burned okay. to the ground. <laughs> so you were there, and it was burned to the ground. That's all you know. It, it was, was burned before we got there. Yeah. And there were there no was this powerful dead goblin. Oh, wait, sorry, what? Sorry, I grabbed Power... Jax. There was powerful. And I poke her. Yeah, it was a powerful stench. Like there were a lot of dead bodies. Make a deception check. <laughs> Rolling yeah. luck on that one. I don't believe you. Oh, he's going for it. I am the oh, harbor nice. master of Port Nine, oh. Zaru. I have every ability to take you in for questioning if I so choose. You okay. tell me the truth, and you what walk about away. Inspiration? What does an inspiration do for me? Uh, it would, uh, I'll give you, wait, why did you roll deception twice? Because you still I, failed on the I, second I, roll, by the way. I rolled luck, yeah. I was oh. just asking for inspiration. So, uh, you cannot, it would have allowed you a reroll, but you cannot reroll a reroll. Okay, gotcha. I didn't know uh, if it was like adding a d6 or something. I didn't know. We were attacked when we arrived there. Someone named Oriana. Just one fight. person destroyed the entire fort. What? Well, not... There was also someone else. I don't. I don't know who this person is. It goes by. Aserak? I don't know the name. We didn't so these two people That's... destroyed an entire fort of the name. Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, we don't know what it means. I I don't know if we they had help. They were the only ones there when we got there. Make a deception check, because you're lying again. Well, they were the only people. No, no they weren't. Or did, did you just forget as a player? No. Okay. I did. I legit do not remember. No, there was like 12 other beings there that we decimated when we got yeah. there. That Well, remember, so I'm just going to remind you guys, and do these are like important things, so if I'm not reinforcing them well enough, you should tell me, but uh, what I described to you was 12 mostly human, except a few elves and dwarves, some of whom were dressed in the tabards of the Flaming Fist, kneeling before oh, him. What? That I did oh. not remember. Okay. Oh yep. man, oh, we could have done the fist. Oh, yep. we let okay. the fist go. Who? It, obviously, there was some sort of traitorous <laughs> action, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, then, cool. All right. Yeah. Oh. We can't just say that though. We're gonna get our butts beat. So you better That's lie. Entire. Okay. Cool. I'll help lie too. If I realize that, if I yeah. Okay. All right, so what do you say? I would not have lied about any of this stuff okay. if I had realized so that. So tell me what you actually say. Lied. I totally uh, understand that memories aren't perfect. Yeah, so I would have totally said, like, that I would have described everything as it happened. Okay. I, I honestly would have, because I didn't catch that part where yeah, yeah. we thought there was actual... Okay. Okay. He looks at you darkly, and he starts writing down what you say. Um, because you lied before... 
though, yeah. and you got kind of caught in it a little bit. Or would you not have even done that? I, I hate retconning that far back, but would you have I'm just I would have probably kept it at first, but then once he's like, tell me the truth, that second time, yeah. I would not have been deceptive. I oh, would have okay. opened up about it. So everything. because you did get caught lying the first time, make me a pers uh, persuasion mm -hmm. check? Because okay. he kind of doesn't believe you. Okay. I can help. Can I help with that? How would you help with that? What would you say? Yeah. Um, well, I'd phrase it differently depending on how I rolled, but I'd probably come in like, we're just coming bearing news. We're really trying to do a service. We're really not trying to cause trouble. Yeah, we're definitely not trying to be involved. We just want to relay what happened and and all that stuff. And yeah, yeah, a non a non factual, just a persuasive like, look, we're just rocking out. Ooh, yeah, that first one then. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, with the help. Oh, okay. Of Sven, you are able to have advantage on that. Yeah, I did. I rolled thirteen and then a six. Oh, the thirteen's fine. Um, okay. There's just a lot of rolls there. I just haven't heard to keep it. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Rich. Um, okay. I believe what you're saying is the truth. I'm going to write this up, and I'm going to need each of your names. I'm not taking you in, but if I'm going to send a record to this to the merchant princes, which I have to do, I'm going to need your names. Of name course. Is yeah, I'll give him my name, Finn. My name is Kazara. I really just want to make sure that no one else gets gets hurt. Of course. I mean, what if this is their next target? I don't want these people. Of course. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm worried about that as well. I'm a little more pissed that you started out by lying to me. I just didn't want to be involved, but we're involved. You're a little involved. Yeah. Okay. I'm Jax. Jax. Bren. Bren. My name is Sven. Sven. Got it. And the uh, buyer goes, I'm buyer. Hi. Um, tree buyer. Got it. <laughs> Be respectful. <laughs> All right. He's a wilden. I'm just kidding. Where are you planning on staying in town? Your mom's house. <laughs> 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 He's probably my age. Anyway. Oh my god. He uh, might be your age. He's a dwarf. You have no idea. <laughs> I, like, <laughs> I mean, I kind of like the last place we stayed in. We could stay there or whatever. The that green triceratops green, in. Green. I thought it was the green, green raptor. Oh, it was the green raptor. Green raptor. Yeah. Green triceratops yeah. I remember I wrote down game. you said it yeah. looks fine. And so that's their smoking <laughs> for me. Yep. Green raptor. <laughs> the green, green raptor. Down. It looks fine. It looks fine. <laughs> 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 it looks, it, it looks fine. <laughs> it looks fine. <laughs> Green Raptor in. If I have any additional questions or if you need to be uh, questioned by any of the authorities, we'll look for you there. Sounds good. We're, Thank you. We, we're free to go, though. Like, You're we're, absolutely like, free to go. We didn't plan on staying for too long, so... Hey, okay. does anyone have insight? I can't roll insight. Um... Uh, who's good at yeah. insight? Oh, I'm gonna nudge them. I'm really good at insight, actually. You like? I'm just tired of rolling constantly. So if somebody okay. else wants to do some insight, I want to nudge. Oh yeah, I'll nudge Bryn. You're like, what? What's your take on that? On that man back there? <clears throat> he seems incredibly concerned, kind of pissed that you lied to him, but doesn't think you were involved in any way. The reason I'm concerned at the moment is because we've recently been attacked in our sleep by assassins in the middle of a city, which is supposed to be safe. And now we've recently witnessed another institution of safety corrupted by evil deeds. Done dirt cheap. Done dirt cheap. <laughs> evil deeds done dirt cheap. <laughs> I think it would honestly, if he's going to be reporting to the merchant princes, I actually now do think it might be wise to talk to Wakanga and give him a heads up at this point. Okay. But also, we, need, we should probably start scrutinizing the people that we meet more. Yeah. Um, if the fight, if the <laughs> highly fits, too trusting. Yeah. Well, we've just been kind of bobbing around and saving everyone, but now that we got the flaming fists themselves, yeah, corrupt. That means that not only those yeah, people we witnessed, yeah, there's got to be some high-ranking official in the city, I would wager, that is in on this. And perhaps that is why assassins were able to get in and get out, or, well, get in 
without anyone knowing. At least that might be some reason why it was just that easy to sneak in on us. Now, uh, DM outside of the game. Sure. I'm trying to remember how I rolled my insight against Wakanga. Um, it's fine. I, I, yeah, I felt he was fine. I felt yeah. like there was no outward anything shady about him. He was just distracted. Have, he was distracted, super busy, and concerned about uh, Syndra. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was just making sure I didn't feel any possible. Cause, yeah, okay. So we want to go talk to him right now, or what's it like noon, you said? It's like... 2.30-ish. Yeah, 2, 2.30. Good enough. Okay. Okay. Let's go talk to him before before he finds out from somebody else. Okay. Because he's right. one of the people that knew we were going, so. Sweet. So as you guys start moving along, uh, the clouds start boiling over the, the jungle, and it starts raining, and it's just super annoying for y'all. Um, but uh, you, you get pretty soaked on your way up to his... Uh, abode up on the hill. Um, you make your way up into the large white flagstone courtyard uh, with a fountain where he and th- uh, two of the other uh, merchant princes have their keeps. Uh, and to the two guards, same two guards, still standing there. <laughs> Did we ever get those guards' names? No. I'd like to ask them their names. I was going to say, Kazara's going to smile really nicely. We're, we're seeing each other a lot, so I, I, I kind of feel like I'd like to get to know you, and I Stick my hand out and say, hi, I'm Vim. Hello, Vim. I'm Atazi. Atazi. And there's two, right? Yeah, there's two. Cool. Nice to meet you, Atazi. And you are? I'm Terran. Terran. All righty. Cool. Um, I hate to bug you again, but uh, Mr. Wakanga, we've got some urgent uh, news for him. And we'd really love to speak to him. Of course. Um, just one moment, please. Let me make sure Thank he has you. time for un- unexpected visitors. And uh, Atazi runs back in to... Uh, it takes him a couple minutes, but he comes back out. It was like, uh, it'll be a few moments wait once you're inside, but he says he can make time for you this afternoon. Perfect. Uh, and he'll lead you in through that same gorgeous, airy, open garden with the silks uh, draping off the front of the house and the, the vines crawling up the pillars that are there and the, the green and gold paint around both the, the first and second floor of the building uh, acting as an accent. Uh, it takes you inside where that light, gentle music is playing and there's always a breeze, even when there's no breeze outside. It takes you like to one of the... Go ahead. I wanted to pick a flower from the garden. Be okay. Perfect. You absolutely can. Um, yeah, there's a very beautiful set of golden flowers uh, that are native to Chol. Uh, they kind of are like a cross between a rose and an orchid. Um, so they, they have this swirl to them and uh, they have like white uh, pistols coming out of them. They're very pretty. Uh, and you guys are taken in where uh, you are sat in uh, uh, an atrium you remember. Uh, this time they actually have a canvas covering over the top of it from the rain, um, and so it's closed off. And it feels a little musty in here, but that breeze is still blowing, keeping things quite fresh. A servant comes in after you're seated a few minutes later and sets down wine and uh, dried fruit for y'all. Just going to stuff my face. <laughs> yeah, because I'll oh take some wine. It has Wakanga, Wakanga, damn it. Yeah, Wakanga. I almost said it wrong. Is it. Wakanga, uh, is he here yet? No. Uh, oh. the, the servant he, who actually kind of stands at the door watching uh, goes, it, it will be a few moments before he can come. Enjoy your refreshments. Sir. Ooh. I will. Good, I'm glad. Refreshed. I try and distinguish which is snacks and which is the potpourri. Potpourri. Try not to eat the potpourri. Uh, it takes about a half an hour for him to actually hey. meet you all. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> Thought you meant for how long it took you to figure out the snack. <laughs> it took you about a half an hour <laughs> to, to figure out the potpourri. potpourri. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he comes I with with... <laughs> <laughs> He's been chewing on that for a while, Svenny. You okay? 
It's not snack. I think it's gone bad. <laughs> that was great, but it tastes awful. <laughs> Takes about a half an hour for you to figure out the potpourri. I mean, for what Kanga come in. Okay. Sorry. Uh, and he's the same Chamberlain is behind him again, and he looks hurries and he goes, "Yes, my friends, you come. What do you need?" Well, we've uh, we've just come from Fort Bellurian. Well, not just. We've come from Fort Bellurian, and yes. we ran into some some trouble when we when were there. Were you able uh, to get your papers? We were. Uh, yes. Yeah. Although more importantly, I should tell you that the village was the fort was burned. We were right. attacked. Um, there was uh, there was an odd worshiping ritual, I think, happening. By some members of the town and uh, someone, Oriana and Asrek, we're all there. Uh, we're fine. Thank you for asking. We made it, but uh, You're clearly fine. We. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a close thing. Yes, they up. were. We passed the Order of the Flaming Fist. They were there. Well, it's their first. The, yeah, they were worshipping the big guy. Yeah. All that of them? kind of destroyed the place. Well, describe. Describe it to me. Who is this big guy? Well, this... He kind of... Like, man like this guy? That a big crown? Um, yeah, yeah, it was very strange. Like eight feet tall. Was super evil looking. Super evil. Could have said it better myself, Jack. Yeah, it appeared as though they were worshiping him, and when we showed up to, uh, we were attacked. A fight ensued, and the fort is essentially decimated. Have you told anyone else this news? Uh, just the harbor master. Wait, if you showed up and the fort was decimated, how did you get your papers? Well, we looked around and we got lucky and we found the papers. Smart. But yeah, yeah. Smart. I like that. It's initiative. It's good. Tell me, so there was this undead thing with a large metal crown and then mm -hmm. there was someone there was a, with him and then some... A purple tiefling named Worshippers. Oriana. Oriana. There were, yeah, and then several humans, elves, dwarves, uh... Were all of them DM? Were they all wearing the flaming fist, or just some no, of them? Just some of them. Just, just some of them. Okay, so like some of them were wearing, some of them were not, but they were definitely like really into this guy. What and did he do with them? We... <laughs> well, <laughs> we actually were able to take those guys out in the battle. So just to remind you, remember he snapped his finger; they all turned to ash, and then their ghosts rose and attacked you. Okay. So yeah, that happened. And we defeated the ghosts. <laughs> I'm sorry, but, what? Yeah, it was crazy, I'm telling you. Like, stranger than fiction, man. And remember um, also, he was looking for a ring, and the ring wasn't there, and that's why he did it. Yeah, so yeah, okay, so there was a ring. I did not write down that in my notes, okay. Better notes next time. I'm writing that note. Something about a ring, and uh, then yeah. they they basically came in like on a on a bolt of green lightning, right? Like they they weren't there, and then all of a sudden there was this bolt of green lightning, and then they were there, and they left the same way. Just the two of them. This is incredibly disturbing. Yeah, you're telling me. I don't even know what to make of the information, other than there's something terrifying out there. And terrifying. If he can, if he can do what you told me, he can do. It sounds like it's more important than ever that you find the source of this magic, because I would believe that these things are connected. It seems that way as well. We we mostly wanted to make sure we told you, because we did tell the harbor master we're concerned that that they wouldn't stop there, that they'll keep looking elsewhere. And if there's anything that can be done to help, you know, we wanted to make sure at least people had a heads up. So that's why we told him he was going to make a report and file it, and so we wanted to just come to you so that you didn't hear it secondhand. Of course. Thank you for coming to me almost directly. I appreciate it. Uh, I will pass this on to the others 
and we will formulate some form of defense if such a thing can be defended against. Uh, we'll consult our, our, our local uh, clerics as well to see if there is some sort of war we can put on the city or at least on some of the more important people who live here to make sure that we can't be targeted. This is... Uh, I, I wish there was more information, but it sounds like it was a very quick encounter. Is that correct? Very quick. It's too bad. Was there anything notable about either of them in terms of weapons they carried or uh, spells they cast or... I mean, obviously, this... this this I'm afraid he may be a lich um, well we didn't actually interact with him directly he kind of stood back behind um, and we we basically dropped a, a cloud of fog in between him and us and it was his companion the tiefling that we had the actual real battle with and she was extremely powerful like every time we hit her with an attack she was somehow able to hit us for an extreme amount of power. I believe that would make her... There are warlocks who are known to be able to do that. Uh, Oriana said, fly, little birds, and speak of what you saw here. So I do believe she meant for us to survive and pass on this warning. Zara, take a point of inspiration for writing that down. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Interesting. And also, the, using the terminology little birds, if you translate that into the Chultin, uh, it has a different meaning as well. Um, it's... Little bird is what we call the soul. And that, that's fascinating to me, because it seems what's happening to people who have been resurrected, that their soul is being unspun from them. That to me is only further proof that these things are connected and this one must be stopped. This is critical information you have given me and I thank you for it. Of course. I wish I had more to tell you, but it seems like your course is clear. You, you must find the source of this darkness. That's what we intend to do. After we do all this other shit on our to-do list. Yeah, we have a list. <laughs> But it's definitely on the list. It's a priority. There's a priority section, and it's on it. Excellent. Uh, is there anything else I can do for you? Mm, I don't believe so. I mean, yeah, I feel I a little better so. knowing that we've we've passed along this information, but oh, we yes, this, is a, this is critical. Thank you. Um, I must. I must write to the other merchant princes and, and convene a meeting as soon as I can, so I'll just go. Okay. And then he, with that, he just turns and walks out. <laughs> Bye! Mr. will come over and go, thank you, your, uh, your audience is complete. It is time for you to go. Hmm. Well, thank you for your hospitality. Always glad to give it. Please follow me. Hmm. And she leads you back out into the rain. Sweet. Hmm. All right, so we should maybe go find that lady that has our weapons that we had made. Traded for blood. Yeah. And yeah. Maribel's magnificent modicum of magic. Yeah. Let's, let's away! Way. Away! All right, so you guys, uh, it's... Uh, let me get back up the map for y'all. Boink, there we go. Um, so yeah, you guys were... Yep. Here. And then Maribel's is here. So it takes you like four minutes to walk down and around to get there. Um, door is still closed. It's a blue building with a red door. Um, jammed in between two other buildings. It's kind of of medium size. I'll knock on the door. That startled my dogs. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> they thought it was the actual door of the house. Very convincing. <laughs> Uh, the same, uh, mousy-looking woman opens the door and goes, Oh, yes, hello! How are you? Well... Come in, come in, come in, come in. I've completed my work. Excellent. Yay! Doop, 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 doop. Uh, she takes you in, it is the same... 
police Doctor Who police box TARDIS space that it was the last time, where it's it's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside with the two floors, um, and just arrangements of magical items all around. Uh, she walks up behind the desk and goes, uh, so, um, what did you all purchase again? We purchased some stuff. I don't know if I uh, it down. We have a rapier. <clears throat> Not, wait, is ninth bean? Is that what you wanted to raise? That's, that's what Sundra gave us. Was definitely, definitely not a rapier. Definitely a bow. Yes. Two yeah, I, bows, I, in fact, two long bows. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, two well, they're bows. on the um, uh, dagger. Yeah, a dagger. Yeah. A long bow. A cloak. Yes. Two daggers. Or one or dagger. Two long bows. A necklace. Anything else you remember? I think there's a. I think I have the feather cloak for from Syndra. Oh, that's from Syndra. Yeah, that's from Syndra. Oh, I ordered the um, uh, the rosary. Like it's like yes. a rosary. I mine was <clears throat> um the neck of my. What was yours? Instrument. The the neck of oh, my. Oh yes, instrument. of course. Right, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I have all of them right here. Uh, he uh, she puts out a dagger. Uh, she lays down two longbows, uh, the neck of your instrument, but of course, you have a better one now, don't you? That's true. And uh, the the necklace. Now be careful with this. You can imbue these with a spell, each and every one of them. The whole. It takes time to do, but it could be very helpful to you. Uh, so the dagger and the two longbows are all plus one. So you've got a, a necklace of spell storing and a uh, uh, a very fancy neck for your other instrument. And then a plus one dagger and two plus one long bows. And, and I will write up the details for a necklace of spell storing. For Oops. You. So I'm just firing arrows by accident. <laughs> <apparently>. <laughs> That's me trying to edit things. Okay. <laughs> That's plus one to attack and plus one to damage, right? Yeah, it's plus one to both. Now, remember, looking at you specifically, Jax, we have a deal. You go to Nangalore, and you give me that list of herbs. And you keep that. Beautiful instrument slung across your back. But if you don't, I keep this. And out of her hand, from nowhere, there is the vial of blood. As you can see, the seal is still intact. No funny business here, just a good deal. Spooky. So, you have you given me a list for this? Or yes, like yeah, I should give you a list. It's one of lots of weird sounding things with descriptions. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, okay. You have a list of magical herbs from Nangalore. N-A-N-G-A-L-O-R-E. So that concludes our business for now. Yes, anything else I can do? I don't think so. For me, at least. You don't need any more potions? Maybe a nice shield? Hat? I don't know. Uh, I would like you to... Know what? I... Yeah. You know what? I'll buy yeah. another potion of, of lesser healing. Uh, it's 50 gold. Okay. Yeah. I would like to buy four of those. It's 200 gold. Got it. That's 250 gold. I'm just going to spend my own 200 on that. Anyone else? I just got a whole fresh stock of healing potions in. All the way from Waterdeep. I'm being cheap. Oh, fuck it. One more potion of lesser healing. Sold! I like your moxie. Here you go. Uh, Better safe than dead. This is true. Uh, I have a question about my necklace. Yes. I don't know if now is good or what. Um, I don't. If I'm reading this properly, the hit dice 
determines how many spells I can imbue it with, or is this uh, not correct information? No, nope, this is, never mind. This is old. This is 3E. Oh, yeah. That's the one I'm, I'm pretty much using. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it says, well, I have five hit dice, one or two first level spells, and, a, and one second level spell. Uh, so there is actually right now, and I didn't know this until just now, um, you have what is essentially a ring of spell storing in necklace form. Um, right. And I will, yeah, yeah, they have a fifth ed version for that. So uh, I will actually copy it into chat here for you, the link for it. Thank Ooh. you. Uh huh. Um, you can cast any spell store in the creature. Store in the ring of the ring. So you can cast a number of spells up to five. You can. So you are a level three spellcaster now, right? You have up to level uh, three spells? I have up to level three, yes. Okay. So you can cast up to five total levels of spells into that. So like five level one spells, a level two spell, and three level one spells, a level three spell, and one level two spell. You see what I'm saying? Um, into that ring. Hmm. And it will hold them for you to cast at your convenience. Do they have to be spells I already know? They do. Okay. okay. So but it's, it's like, like spell basically slots. extra spell slots, yeah. Yeah, it's extra spell slots. Dope. That's nope. nice. Dope, that, yeah. Is that how, or how does this, how um, does the spell storing work for the instrument? Or like what can she I did not explain to you what the neck of the, the thing does. Okay. Can I ask? <laughs> I want you to find out for yourself. Oh. It, it'll be more That's fun that way, I think. It won't hurt you, I promise. Insight right. check. Okay, make an insight check. She does not appear to be lying, but she does appear to enjoy withholding the information. Yeah, she's just playing games. She's fine. Mm. Just like, higher. Come down. I must be able to sell you something else. If not, get out of my shop. I love you, but I, I have other work to do. Um, I will actually go ahead and buy a uh, potion, too. 50 gold! Alright. Sold! The only person who hasn't yet is you, old man, and you, elty lady. Would you like some potions of healing? It's true. No, I'm... I'm... Don't have this. <laughs> Who's carrying, um, because we still, we, we just picked up some, uh, potions, and who wants to carry that? Uh, I'm carrying three of my own potions. Because mm, there's four potions of cure wounds, two potions of superior <laughs> healing, and then one potion of greater Oh, Throck's dead. Uh, do we oh. need a bag what? of something? Are you okay? Are, Are you okay? Dead. No, no, I'm good. That coil just died. It's not good anymore. Oh, oh. Tastes like burnt uh, death. Burnt yeah, that's death. never good. Uh, uh, burnt cotton is never good. Okay. Go on. I've recovered. Hang on. I just uh, assumed Jax was carrying those things, because I'm we not. We just assumed you were a pack okay. mule. Oh, um, good. Yeah. I think we need a... What I, I mean, for the party. It's like, are we going to do a bag of holding? Are we going to do that? Or is that not a thing? Yeah, there's no way we can afford a bag of holding, even if she had one, right? Oh, is it? Do you want the bag of holding? How much is it? it? Hang on, let me look up my magical prices. I hadn't even thought about that till just now. I probably should have had this up because you guys were coming here. Uh, no, sorcerer. Ah, there we go. Will it hold me? Let's put uh, yes, but you'll die. Yeah, there's no air. I don't want to sleep inside. I just want to be held. Uh, Aww. Bag of holding. <laughs> Aww. Aww. So then I often carry you on my back all the time. You know that's a bad idea, because I... 2,000 <laughs> gold. I enthusiastically... 2,000 gold? We can't... I mean, combined, we probably could afford it, but it would be all of our gold. It would literally be everything we have. I'm not interested in... Uh, uh could I... We could make another deal for it. I mean... Yeah. How about I... I would like to just, like... Like, wink at the owner and see if I can... Charm, make a persuasion charm check. You? That's a great idea. You're going to charm her. You're going to. Like, 
You're going to actually use the spell that. charm upon this. Okay. <laughs> Wait, you're going to. I'm making sure that I'm like looking around and kind of browsing and I'm not throw. right there. Uh, what, what is the saving throw that she needs? Um. You, you do know that charm is, is going to make them angry, right? They'll know after yeah. if they. If yeah. you fail. Charm's a hostile spell, even though it sounds nice. Just. Um, I don't like YOLO. know. Yeah, go for it. But spell DC is at the top of the page on the oh, third page. Oh, sorry. Uh, fourteen. She rolled a natural twenty. Oh, we're dead. I need you to leave my shop right now. You are allowed to come back when you have grown up enough to know not to use magic on the magic shop owner. Do you not think I can tell when these things are happening? Leave. Out. Go. No more sales today. We're closed. I'm dead. Go. I see everyone leaving. I'm like, what? What's going on? Uh, Jax <laughs> tried to make out with the shop owner. We, we gotta go. <laughs> talk about this, Jax. Jax. She'll get over it. It's okay. She obviously Sorry. likes us. She, she likes us enough everyone. not to ban us for life, so. She started winking with one eye and then both eyes. And... <laughs> it was really awkward. It was weird. <laughs> Fire comes up and bumps it into you and goes, maybe that wasn't the smartest thing you ever did. I don't know. I'm just saying. Sorry. It was kind of charming. <laughs> oh, oh so you're kicked out of the game. Uh, yeah, that's, right. that's my third strike. I'm out. <laughs> you're out. All right. What next, Three puns team? and you're out. Uh, let's uh, go. Sweet. Find a guy. Oh yeah, we gotta talk about these guides. Mm -hmm. We gotta talk about these guides. You need to talk about these guides. If we can All find right. them again. Um, you only got their information. You haven't actually tracked them down yet. Yeah, we haven't actually they found them. in the them. city. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um. Who I, did we like? I liked River Mist and Flask of Wine, the two uh, Tabaxi. Okay, I'll pull them up. I'm sort of biased towards them. Yeah. Were there any others that we were interested in? I'd like options here. I think from the first time around, we were looking at... I didn't write down their names. Uh, the Musharib. That was uh, maybe yeah. the from the first round of okay, options. Yeah, we yeah. liked that one. I'm still kind of leaning towards the two tabaxi, but that's just me. Me too. For no particular reason. But maybe. I'd say two is better than one. And they were affordable. Oh, no, he's just talking. Yeah, Their sales pitch involves talking shit about somebody else. Um, Musharib was the... He was the dwarf guy, the gray the dwarf. Dwarf like Ganassi or something? Yeah, he's an Ganassi, albino dwarf. Yeah. He was an albino, albino dwarf. dwarf. Yeah. You can get you anywhere in Chult for free of five gold pieces a day. Uh, but if we join his quest to reclaim Har 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 Har, then that? it would be free. Frakhamar? Frakhamar. The Fire Newts. If you love Dwarven Klein, I will waive my fee for your promise of assistance. Fire Newts. We'd have to fight some bunch of Fire Newts. And then for the two Tabaxi, they, they want five gold pieces per day in a 30 day advance. Um. Oh, wait. We're happy to serve as guides for only four gold pieces a day with no payment up front. And we'll waive the fee entirely for equal shares of whatever treasures we help find. But we wouldn't have to fight anything extra that we know of. True. And we have two guides. So if one dies or something... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> we have a backup. Or if we have to split up. If we get separated... And we or weren't interested in Iku at all. Iku. What's that? Iku. Iku. Um. I wasn't entirely sure that I trusted the Iku. There are evil yeah. imposters who seek to blind you with promises of gold. That's like, if you have to say it, like, why? If you have to make a point to bring that up. <laughs> I don't know that I trust them. That's true. 
A small portion goes to pay off the merchant prince Jobal, the rest I give to charity. Yeah, not Azaka. I don't like Azaka. Who's Salada? My vote is for the two tabaxi still. That's two votes for the tabaxi. Mm -hmm. Hugh Hackenstone. I'm trying to read through all of them. This is very enter entertaining, exciting stuff. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Wait. Oh, Hugh Hackenstone only has one arm. No. <laughs> Rude. Well, and that could be a liability. That's true. Are you against the disabled? disabled? It's not about that. And then Farul and Gondolo, they seem. There's, yeah. Hmm. All right, I'm cool with the Tabaxi if if we don't want Musharib. Those are the two I like, and I'm willing to go with whichever. Okay. Um, well, you'll need to go meet and talk to them and do all that sort of fun stuff. But yes. For sure. Those Is are the two late that today? you want to go. Uh, it's at five o'clock. Does Bryn or Sven have a preference? I liked Mushrib. I agree. I like Mushrib. Like, it's a Mushrib 1 and then River and Flask 2 for me. Mm -hmm. Bryn? I liked Mushrib. Nice. Oh, cool. The beloved albino dwarf. Didn't he? He had the righteous cause too, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, well, well, it's not really a righteous cause. He wants us to help him reclaim his clan's ancestral forge That's from fire newts that have taken over it. And at the very least, we need to at least recover a relic. Hmm. And if we do that, he will waive our fee. I see. Otherwise, it's five pieces a day <laughs> uh, with no down payment. I love They're going to have to pay PC regardless, for the most part. So, I mean, it's a possibility of getting out of payment if it were to be able to help him. Yeah, and we'd be able to keep whatever treasure, treasure we find and not share it. Yeah, that is true. Kazara is against treasure. killing these creatures. What do we know about fire newts, DM? What 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 role would I would we all at some uh, whoever wants to make this role? The only two people who might have an idea about fire newts are going to be Bryn and Jax. Um, okay. Jax could make a history check, and Bryn could make a nature check. Let's do it. Okay. They're pure chaotic mm -hmm. evil. Uh, Jax, you uh, have actually read stories about fire newts in the past. You, um, they're pretty much always the bad guys. Um, they're not evil so much as intensely greedy and territorial. Um, they, uh, they are servants of the element of fire in nearly every way. They're they're not elemental beings themselves, although there is some scholarship to point that they have elemental descent. Um, and they tend to be, they tend towards a side of chaotic, lusty, uh, chaotic Ooh. greedy, one might say. Um, and that greed will lead them to do evil acts if their greed is not sated. I look at Kazara and I'm like, I don't know. Fire nudes. They seem like bad news. But, but I'm kind of possessed by the kind druid spirit. I have an overwhelming urge to protect these fire nudes, so. Actually, you remember, as you feel this kind druid spirit within you, that you were to 
take this druidic focus that's still in your backpack and return it to the leader of the order of uh, druids here. Oh, that's only for as long as I was holding it? You don't know that, but you, you do remember that you were supposed to hand... You were supposed to give that holy relic back. Yes. Right. Wait, Kazar's not a druid, right? No. No, but I oh, okay. held on to so you've that... you got this um, thing, now you feel... Yeah. As if magically dying. compelled. Yeah. Well, I mean, fire I gotcha. okay. usually destroys forests and stuff. It seems like that would be a bad thing for druids. Fire will pipe in and go, I don't mean to complicate the situation, but fire also allows for new growth. Ooh. I mean, from so what Byron, you told us, you... they sound like dicks to me, but... They sound like dicks to me, too. So, Byer, what's your choice here? What, who are you leaning towards? I'm going to go with you guys, honestly. Um, I don't... Over. I am... I, I kind of am interested in Salida a little bit. I'm interested in Musharib. I have a weird feeling. I haven't met these tabaxi. And the only tabaxi I know is awesome. So... Well, clearly they're all awesome, then. <laughs> <laughs> Slash S. Um, Apparently, uh, Salida doesn't trust Musharib or Iku. I don't know. That's like one of my things when I was reading through these dossiers. I'm like, okay, which one of these are more concerned with besmirching another person's name, or which one was actually trying to sell themselves or actually have a reason for being out there, independent of what anybody else was doing. You know what I mean? Like, cause I don't want to be involved in rivalries and that's why I was leaning more towards Musharib, honestly. Mm -hmm. It kind of sounds like Musharib is getting the majority vote. Cause I'm not that impressed with Salida personally. Yeah. I was, Salida didn't work for me. Uh, so is that we should go find and try and yeah. talk to Musharib about hiring him. Are we all in agreement on that? I mean, yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to be a democracy, but I mean, sure. Unless all right, someone let's do has it. a strong feeling against it, then I think we should go with Musharib. Let's go with Musharib. So, cool. from the intelligence you originally gathered um, when you were first asking around about these guys, uh, you know that Musharib uh, made his residence at a place called the Ten Fathoms uh, Hostel House. Um, the Ten Fathoms Hostel House is uh, in a set of buildings right off the docks over here. Um, is that an inn or is that a... Like... It's a hostel. Okay. It's called a need hostel. To be hostile. Don't be so hostile. Um, yeah, it's over kind of in, in that area that I just showed you guys. Uh, so if you want to head over there. Yeah, we can do that. Um, you make your way through the city. It's, it's, uh, the rain has finally started to clear up. It's later afternoon and most of the clouds have blown over. Um, uh, it's, this is a crowded part of town because there's a lot of business coming in and out from the ports here. Um, and there's a lot of sailor folk in this area. Uh, there's lots and lots of semen. It's just filthy. With What's semen that everywhere. now? <laughs> yeah, that means semen. Semen all over the place. There's semen everywhere. Just everywhere. Just you know. Brown. <laughs> semen, Arcan semen, ropes semen. of semen. Um, yeah. So uh, you make it over the hostel house, which is a relatively not well kept kind of flop house. With uh, on the outside, it just says. Uh, the, the, the site itself is literally just a chain underneath water um, with a 10 and a period next to the 10. Uh, and it's kind of a beat up. It looks like it used to be painted blue, but a lot of the blue has been faded off by wind and rain and sun over time. Um, it's a basic clapboard two-story building nestled in between two very nice looking inns. Um, and it's only got... It's got two doors, but one of them has kind of fallen off the hinge a little bit. Uh, and there's not a lot of traffic in and out of it. So there's no floppy no. semen hanging outside? There's no floppy <laughs> semen. Correct. Well, I, I guess I'll approach the door and 
I'll, I would knock, but my dogs are going to freak out again, so we'll just pretend. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, why don't you just walk in? It's a hostel. <laughs> you don't need to knock. You know what? Someone else needs to deal with this. I'm I'm done knocking on doors. I'm going to just walk in. <laughs> uh, you walk in and you're in uh, uh, like a 20 by 15. Tw- well, it's like a... Uh, yeah, it's like a 20 by 15 foot deep kind of foyer area with stairs going off in either direction um, on either side of you. Uh, and you're, you're facing a older looking Chelton man who uh, is just standing behind kind of a desk with a big book open in front of him. Do you need rooms? One silver a day per bunk. Uh, a Eight bunks to a room. What do you want? One, two. Uh, we're actually just looking for, for a albino dwarven gentleman named Musharib. Does he reside I might know here? Him. Maybe. Who are you? My name is Kazara, and um, <laughs> I'd really like to talk to this guy because we heard he was the best guy in Fortnite Zero. It's true. I don't know that anyone's ever told him that before. You should maybe tell him that. It would make him feel better. Great. Could you go get him? Yeah. I didn't say he lived here. Well, well, you said you knew him. Okay, yeah, so so where... No, I didn't. Might we find? Yeah. If one were to find Musharib, where would that be? Possibly in your coin purse? Uh, I'm going to try to persuade him to just tell us. Okay. He's in here. Sir. (laughs) That's impossible. I say, that's impossible. (laughs) No, no, no. (laughs) No, no, sir. Uh, <laughs> make a persuasion check for sure. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're a very so pretty I... lady. Oh, what do you say? <laughs> oh, no, no, if you don't, if I don't do the work, then. Ah. Um. <laughs> sir, I understand that you you run a business and you get a lot of salty semen in here in and out all day but um in you really just, want to... just in and out salty semen all over the place constantly we penetrating just... your habitation constantly. We would just, I would just Clean love to get out of your hair and just speak to this Musha Reeb if you would just be so kind as to as to just tell us where he is you are silver and silver is very pretty you are a very pretty Ooh. lady for you, Thank you I will tell you where he is if he dies and the authorities ask, I did not tell you where he is. Deal? What? Deal. I'm fine with that. Excellent. We'll, we'll take good care of him. Third floor, okay. room 8B. Why would B be on the third? Never mind. Because it's across from 8A. This is a very poorly laid out hostel. You're less pretty than you were just a moment ago. <laughs> <laughs> Got what we needed, so. She speaks oh, you don't, like, you don't like smart women, okay. I like smart women. <laughs> Just not when they're smart at me. Oh. oh. <sighs> Take your mouth upstairs and go find your dwarf. Don't tell me twice. <laughs> I'm not going there. <sighs> All right, everyone. Should we go to 8B? I'm told that's where he's staying. Um, yes. You guys make it up. The, the stairs are pretty rickety. Um, this is not a well kept place. He might be the only person who works here. Um, uh, you pass a number of not awesome looking people on the way. People who were one hired to kill bandits. They mm. might look like these guys if you were to find them in the woods. Bandit killers. No, no, no. Bandits, or l- uh, less than savory individuals who could be hired to do things that maybe aren't quite legal, seem to be the type of people who stay in this place. Sodom. S- yes, sodomites. <laughs> indeed, sodomites live here. Sodomites That's and it. semen. That is the new name of our campaign. Yeah. <laughs> of our Friday game. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to semen and sodomites. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, but you, you make it up to 8B, doors closed. No, we're knocking, good. What do you want? 
a guide. Heard we could find one here. Where are you going? Into Cholt. You hear a, a creak on the bed. Um, and then uh, the door opens and there, about four foot tall, stands an albino dwarf who uh, has a very... Uh, he, uh, and he looks like an Indian, right? If an Indian were an albino and a dwarf, right? He looks... He's got that sort of, like, old look to him. I mean, uh, South South Asian Indian and not Native American Indian. Um, he's got Ooh. that kind of look about him, right? Um, he's got the facial features that are common to that area. Um, and he looks up at you. What do you want me? What, 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 what do you want? You want to go into the jungle? Lots of people can take you into the jungle. What? You, what? How did you hear about me? For someone who's been putting an ad out as a guide, you don't seem very eager to help. Well, I need people who can help me, and everyone who comes by just wants to help themselves. So if you're looking to help yourself and yourself alone, you've come to the wrong guide. My people are oppressed. We they have been, our, our ancestral forge has been taken over. Yeah, we, like outcasts. we know about the fire newts. Yeah. We chose He's, you for a reason. Yeah, for sure. He's so grumpy, but I like him more. <laughs> <laughs> he seems to run up your alley, Sven. I really like him. I so knew you, I liked this guy. So you do well to go to Harkamar. Harkamar, yeah. And reclaim yeah. our ancestral forge. At the very least, the relic known as Morden's Gauntlet. You've heard of the Gauntlet? Yes. Well, that changes things. Why if, we we find it, sword and... if we find the Gauntlet and recover... The forge. I will charge you nothing. I will lead you honestly, and I will tell you what you need. But we must recover those things. I'm. I'm. We're here for it. So here for it. We're ready whenever you are. Well, so you've I mean, already prepared. You. You have. You have supplies. You have boats. You have. That's tortures. Just... You have. Water and food. You you have what you need. You know what you you know what you're doing already. This is why we're hiring you. So you don't know what you're doing. Okay. So, be honest with me and tell me what what, what I'm starting with here. I'm a, I've lived in the jungle my whole life. We are not from here. Clearly, none of us are. are. Well, buyer is, but none of us are from. Uh, no, I'm not. Oh, I thought you were from. Do I? I don't look like these trees. Do I look like these trees? I look nothing like these trees. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't know we met you here. We didn't know. I mean, I mean, sort of be from here, but you know. Not Stop like, being triest. Okay, okay, sorry. We were, we, how long, a DM, how long have we actually been here on uh, Inchol since we let's teleported? See. One, two, three, 13, I would say 16 days. There you go. We've been here for barely over a fortnight. I mean, I mean, I was kind of raised in the jungle, but I, we don't, I don't really, but not this I don't jungle. talk about that. Not this jungle, right? Was it this jungle? Jax. I mean, but I I don't really remember it. I I'm okay. not really. You see, what, this is what you're dealing with, Mishareep, right there. That we just so laid nothing. it out for we're, you. We're, we're starting at zero and going from there. Okay. Ooh, so. Yeah. The jungles of Jolt. Let's let's go. Can we go get to the rank somewhere? Perfect. Excellent. Um, do you prefer a bar? Do you know where Dora? I, I know a few. Doesn't matter. You know a few. Take. Where's your favorite? Let's go. Uh, I like the green raptor. It's pretty okay. Hey, we've been there. We like it. It's, it's, it looks fun. Oh, you have good taste. Let's go. Uh, and he'll take you over the green raptor and sit you down. Okay, so let's start with this. Jungles are hot, and the most important thing you will need is water. You will need two gallons of water per person per day, at the very least. If you're not drinking two gallons of water a day, it's likely you will dehydrate and die. That's a lot of water. Second, there are some huge bugs and lots of disease. You want bug repellent. If you do not have bug repellent, you will likely get the disease and die. Third, food. You'd think you'd be able to catch a lot of things in the jungle, but most of them are faster and meaner than you. You should take food. If you do not take food, you will very likely starve and die. Next, boats. You do not want to walk through much of the jungle if you don't have to. 
Because walking through the jungle means dinosaurs. Dinosaurs like to eat people. If you walk through the jungle, you will very likely be eaten and die. So we need boats. Ooh. Are you following me so far? Yes. Water, disease, bug repellent, food, boats. Yes. Uh, let's see. Do you have... Don't get eaten. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, don't get eaten. Do you have block and tackle already? No. No. It's very likely parts of the... Wait. Oh, what? yeah, for horses? Yeah. No, block and tackle. It's... Don't wait. It helps you lift heavy things. Because sometimes, like if you're on the path... Thing. Or in uh, the water, you need to pull logs out of the water so you can keep going down the river. Yes? I would not have that in my burglar's pack, so... No. You will need block and candle. You'll need lots of candles and lots of torches. Do you have torches and candles? Oh, wow. Lots of them. Uh, oh, wait. I have a dungeoneer's pack. What's in that? That's not enough, but I like what you're thinking. Yeah. You, you need enough yeah. torches and candles for you and whoever else we need to hire. To make sure that your camps are lit at night. BCs don't like fire. If your camp is not lit every night, you'll get eaten in your sleep and die. When we are able to hunt food, you might want some traps for that, because it's easier than just going out there and, you know, trying to kill a dinosaur all by yourself. So we probably want to get some traps. Do you have traps? Hunting traps. Big traps. TT TT traps. What about, uh, Bran or Vin? Do I, Vim, do either of you have traps? No. There was actually a time, a long time ago, I was going to take up being a trap master. Trap queen? Well, trap there's queen. A, That's I, mean, <laughs> I, I get proficiency in some tools, and we were talking about it. Mm. I don't think we ever did it, though. Mm. But if there's room okay. for it in the game now, that's something I'd want to do. So hunting traps. We need those. We'll, we'll have to get those. You have shovels. Anybody have shovels? Oh. When it uh, rains, uh, and it uh, rains a lot in the jungle, you want to make sure you have a pit dug around your tent so that it does not flood out. If it floods out, it could wash you into the river where you would down, drown and die or get eaten by something and die. Also both not good. I've seen both of them happen. Speaking of which, tents. You do not want to sleep in the open air because dinosaurs and all the other things I just talked about. Tents. Tents? Tents. Tents. Crowbars! Oh boy, you would not know how helpful a crowbar can be in the wild. I have one. Excellent. Buy two more just to be safe. Antitoxin. Do you have antitoxin? For when you inevitably get bit by and have a disease from some sort of insect, you're going to want some antitoxin. Well, too bad we pissed off the lady who runs the modicum of magic. <laughs> you just need to talk to an alchemist. You don't need to talk to her. She's very flighty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Rain catcher. You're never going to be able to take all the water you want with you, so you'll need some rain catchers. You want to take a lot of water with you, but you also want to catch water along the way in order to stow more water. Because without the water, what happens? You dehydrate and die. die. You dehydrate and die. That is correct. We have a learner. I like it. All right. Pitten. You're a very You're... condescending old dwarf. Do you realize? I'm very excited because I get to go out with people who apparently have money and don't know what they're doing. So it's fun for me. Of course. <laughs> Pittens. Do you know what pittens are? I don't, They're but I have one. They're the things that help you climb. They yeah. are. They're also great for securing tents. They can be used for either thing you want some. Yeah. Uh, now, here's the really expensive thing. You're going to need boats. More than one, probably. Why would we need more than one boat? For all of the people who help you carry all of your stuff. You think all of this will fit? You think rations for 30 days, water for 30 days is going to fit on one boat? Yeah. It's kind of oh, camping on <laughs> yeah. I say, no? <laughs> that is correct, sir. No is the answer. And this is why you also need porters. People to help you move your stuff. And to keep it secure when you're out doing your heroic thing in the jungle. These are people you will hire as guards to guard your things. Okay? Yeah. I mean, you can leave them in the jungle by yourself and you go off to do your adventure thing, but that's a lot of stuff to leave in the jungle. Or on a so, river. This is becoming an expensive journey. Yeah. Yeah. This is quite the operation where it gets like unpack and start kicking ass and like have a camp for our ass kickery. This is great. <laughs> canvas! You need canvas because why? Does anybody know why you need canvas? For tents? Yes, for tents. That's a good one. I would not also have to, for, to bring that up then. For what? For painting? 
No, not for painting. You don't think you're gonna just get inspired and sit in the jungle and I go out bonk grass? Uh, well, okay, maybe you need some canvas for painting. If that would make you happy, you should buy some little canvases for painting. You should also put them on top of your boat for when? When it's raining! That's Rain. right, so that your shit doesn't get fucked up. Uh, maybe holy water? There's lots of undead in the jungle these days, you might want some holy water. Uh, because undead could kill you, and then you die. Um, oh, and livestock if you're feeling extra fancy. If you want to bring food that makes food, you can do that too. But that's up to you. I don't know how much money you settling the jungle. Wait, where? Okay, let's. Do you have a map of Chult? Yes. Yes. All right. What, uh, what you're in for might be more than you expect. What you're in for to be. Let's take a look at the map. You are here, and he points at the map in Port Nine Zaru. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our first stop on the way into the jungle is 15 days away at Camp Vengeance. Camp oh, Vengeance is a oh. shithole. But it is civilization. It is it is run by the Order of the Gauntlet. They are good people, they just don't run very well and don't have a lot to give. So don't expect to get extra rations there. After that, we have to go into the swamp. And then we're into the deep jungle. You go in the wrong direction, you'll go to Nangalorn. Nobody wants to go there. If you go in the well, other direction, you might fall off a cliff. Why won't? Why do people not want to go to Nengalor? It's haunted. There's something haunted there. Nice. Whoa. Insight check on that. Yeah, do it. Up. He honestly thinks it's haunted. Cool. He cool. points at Camp Vengeance on your map. Uh, yeah, Camp Vengeance so here. Right there, right? Yeah. From there, we have to travel all the way down all the way down wait we're not done through Ataz Yaqualzi which is just a giant fortress of obsidian not fortress valley full of sharp obsidian through the valley of lost honor to the Wormhawk mine or to Harkamar Oop, wrong one to Harkamar through the valley of lost honor into the foothills of the Cobalt mountains can he point to the map where What's that place again? Nangalore? Nangalore. Can you point to the map where Nangalore is? I think oh, it's no. somewhere. What? We lost Kay for a second. Oh no. She's back. Okay. Yeah, she had to reset. Uh oh. Somewhere here. Okay. Oh, I didn't see that. Yep. Now we went to the wrong place. Please hold. Fix some oh, cameras. Yeah. Sorry. You. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Sorry. What? Oh, Vin's at the right place. We can hear you. Uh, do do fixing cameras, please hold as cameras become fix it. No, 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 no. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, there we go. Doop. Uno mas. Almost there. You here? It's like playing, uh, what's that? There's only one block, and you have to move all the blocks so that they're all together. All right. I don't. I don't know. I'm saying words. It happens sometimes. <laughs> words. Words. More words. Beep. And that. And transition. Blunk. All right. Now everyone's where they're supposed to be again. Yay. Okay. So, what is it you're looking for in the jungle? Flower. Well, Nangalore was one of them, actually. List of magical herbs. Okay, well, we can go and try and find Nangalore. That's fine. It's kind of on the way. Kind of. That's totally okay. What else? You're clearly not just going in for Nangalore. Uh, I cannot get you there if I do not know what it is. How do we explain this? How do you explain what? <laughs> People are dying. The death from, curse. Yes. yes, the death curse. We are actually oh. trying to figure that out. We know about this. Everybody yeah, knows about the death curse. People are literally dying in the streets from it. How could one the dark, 
The dark deva commands your death. The what? One will rise above the six, is what we were told. What? What does that even mean? I don't fucking know. That's why we're going into the jungle, aren't we? Um, no, we I don't know. Were sort of attacked. Uh, we got this threatening note, uh, or there was this threatening note we found that was from the Dark Deva. We don't really know what that's about. So let me ask you a question. I've been in these jungles for a long time. It sounds... Did you say somebody tried to come and kill you? Yeah. If someone tried to come and kill you, and yet there's a curse out there that can literally unravel life, do you think those two things are related? Yeah. If somebody <laughs> wanted to kill you who could literally just unravel your life, why wouldn't he just unravel your life? Because uh, it's... Yeah. I'm just... If I have all of the power in the world... To destroy you, why would I not just destroy you? Yeah, I don't. I just. I wasn't necessarily saying they're related. Oh, Sorry. okay. We are looking for the, a soul monger, which is a necromantic artifact. Okay. That's but, it. Yeah. Soul monger. We don't know exactly. Cities. We don't know how they're all related. Right. Interesting. Okay, so that's good. We're looking for an ancient artifact. Ancient artifacts tend to be in ancient cities. This is very helpful. There are only a few known ancient cities, and one kind of unknown, and I don't know. We might, we could be able to find it, maybe. I don't know. So you've got Mesro. It's probably not Mesro. Mesro's been picked over like a buzzard. Mesro is the uh, ancient capital of all of Chult. There is a very high civilization that used to live there. There was a big battle. Everyone died. It's like 400 years ago. And there's adventurers go there all the time. It's probably not that. Could be that. Probably not that. There's Nengalore. Nengalore isn't really a city, it's more of a complex, um, where there are ghosts. That's really all I know about it, so I don't go there, but apparently I'm going there, which is fine, because we're also going to Harkamar, which is what really matters. And then there are rumors of a place called Omun. I have never been to Omun. I don't think that most people have heard of Omun. Omun is, an, from what I understand, an ancient city of snake people, Yonti. I don't know if you've ever heard of them before. You haven't been here that long. Yonti are snake yeah. people. They Actually, come in many we've flavors. met a few of them. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, they're not super great. They're kind of no, lots of evil. Really bad. Okay, so another... Could be... You, what you're looking for very well could be in Nagalore. But it could also be at this place called Omu. Could possibly be at Orolunga, though I doubt it. Orolunga is another ancient city. Um, where there is a... Uh, uh, what is she called? She is a uh, uh, an oracle. She sees things. So that's possible. Maybe it's her. Maybe she is doing this. Maybe she got caught. Who knows? Um, but those are your primary options. Although it is also entirely possible it's in some city that I've never heard of. It's better than what we had. So. Yeah. Might as well check um. it out. Bushri, what do you recommend we do first? Should we go to Hrakhamar, or would you prefer... Hrakhamar. Hrakhamar. It's called Hrakhamar. Hrakhamar. If I have to listen to you say it for the next six months, I want to hear you say it right. Say Oh, I'm going to say it wrong every single time now because you're being sassy. Hrakhamar. Look, I'm not paying you for this. And you get to keep all the treasure that's there. Throw me a little bit of a bone and respect my culture just as much. Absolutely. I do apologize, Mr. Reeb. Would you would you like to help us find where we can find the soulmonger or Yes, I mean that's what I'm signing on for. Yes, yes, we can I'm do here all for of you these things. As long should as we, we do that. Or should we go to uh Rockamar first? Uh Rockamar so is all the way on the other side of the island, right? Like all the yeah, way over. It's it's a good long way away. And way okay. away. We'll, we'll so do that. There's a first lot stop of jungle. Be yeah. Um so the first stop will be Camp Vengeance, which is a fucking hole. And right. from there, we'll, we'll start working on some expeditions. Um, we could go west to Nangalore. It's pretty close. It's probably a week or two through the jungle away. Um, there's also that oracle out there. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we should check that out, too. Those are much closer than Harkamar. Um, after that, we will very likely need to go into the deep jungle. At which yeah. point it makes more sense for us to make our way down to Harkamar. Yes. Sounds good to me. 
Okay. So there are essentially two different ways that we could go in, and the most sensical way, but I am your guide, I am not your boss. Uh, we could go down the river Shoshenstar, which mm. is at the, near the mouth of, before you get into the Aldani Basin, which is just a giant festering pit of swamp. They call it a basin, but it's a giant festering pit of swamp. Once you get to the Aldani Basin, everything sucks. Before that, it's okay. There's there's mining camps and there's other civilization out there a little bit, but after that, it's... Once you get past Camp Vengeance, you're into the real jungle. Um, so we can either go down Shosun Star to Vengeance, or we can go down Tiriki uh, and cut over to the west from there, and maybe see if we find something in between. Um, either one is fine with me. You're adding an extra 12 days, maybe, of travel going down Teriyiki, but maybe we'll find something of interest, a clue for you all. Um, I don't, I have no guarantee of that. I'm just saying those are the two most taken ways into the jungle. I think Soshin Star sounds good, because that's the one that leads us closest to Mangalore, right? Yes. That sounds good to me. Okay. Yeah. So, We'll take Shosun Star. We'll need multiple flat bottom boats. Because we're taking the river until we can't take the river, which is in the Aldani Basin. Would you be willing to come with us to gather these supplies tomorrow? Uh, yes, absolutely. Because it's clear that you do not know what you need to buy. No, I wrote the list down, but, you know. Okay. Yes, absolutely. How many? Perfect. There are six of you, so... <sighs> How long do you think we'll be out there? Do you think it's about 15 days to get to Vengeance? You need to think months. about months. Months. Mm. Okay. So, you, so six months of food. We're not going to be able to take six months of water. There's just there's not enough people to carry it. Um, but given enough rain catchers and if the rain's enough, we should be able to refill our immediate stocks once we're out there. Um, we will run out of food at some point. There's no way to carry it, but it will last us longer. Um, we should buy people that you're not too afraid to eat. Because, you know, sometimes you run out of food and can't catch things. Did you say buy people who we are not afraid to eat? Possibly. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. I don't want to buy anyone that I have to eat. Okay, well, noted that we will not be eating anyone we take with us. I don't want to eat anyone that, yes, thank you. Okay. I'm just saying. Also, the. Don't fucking try to eat my, my raven. I'm not going to eat your raven. He's got no meat on him. Don't eat the dog either. D yeah. Mm -mm. That's mine. Only under the rest. Mm. No. The... No, don't touch my wolf. Okay. If we're under that much duress, you won't be worried about the ghost. Okay. No, I'm just saying that <laughs> cannibalism is not unheard of in the jungle. So... We're not from the jungle again. Be, so. be, be prepared to make sacrifices. If someone's leg looks good and you can grow it back later <laughs> with a powerful healing spell, I just wouldn't hesitate, is all I'm saying. We are not on the menu. Fire is like. Yeah. No, he's fire. How much I like this dwarf. <laughs> he's, putting me off of, he's putting me off a bit. <laughs> well, at least he's honest. Sorry, Byron. So, shall we turn in? Okay. Any other questions yes. for me? I can tell you lots. I just don't Well, know we're going to be with you for months. So, yes. yeah. I'm sure we'll come up with more later. And Excellent. you're going to help us collect all of the stuff tomorrow on how many of everything we need, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. There will be math involved. Because we'll have to figure out how much you need to eat and drink. Lots. Okay. Lots of math. Yes. Okay. Anything else you need from me tonight? Will we be safe if we just stay here at the whatever bar we're at? I forgot. Is someone after you? What do you mean safe? Oh, you mean because you're assassin friends? Yes, I, I have no idea. Yeah, we has anyone ever been attacked in this hostel? I don't or know. Or are we just lucky? It's an inn. People well, we're not in the, the hostel time. anymore. Remember, we went to the bar. I'm also yes. slightly concerned. I wasn't about here you. for that. Like, how? I mean, if somebody's following us or something, like, are you gonna be safe alone? 
I'm oh, me? Yeah. Well, I can handle myself. That's right. I think exactly. you're right. I'm just making sure you're safe. No, no. I, I thank you for your, your concern, the Baxi lady. What was your name again? Jax. Jax. Thank you, Jax. I, I should be fine. No one is trying to murder me. Apparently, they're only trying to murder you, which is... It is what it is. We'll take that into consideration. Yeah, no big deal. Things get weird really quick around here. <laughs> We've only been attacked twice. It's no big deal. Good. I see this will be a peaceful journey. That's very nice. All right. So I'm going to take my leave and start putting together a shopping list for you. We will meet here early tomorrow. We will get what you need and you'll have one night. And then the next day we will leave. Okay. Okay? That's good. Okay. Good. Good. Do you guys have anything you want to do that night? Yeah, now we get to party some more, right? <laughs> We're about to go in the jungle. I'm not sure, party, if we should stay here again. Maybe huh? we should go somewhere else okay. where assassins won't try and murder us in no, our that's, sleep. This, that wasn't here. This is where we stayed the night after that. And oh, this is the nicer one? Yeah, this was the one that we that we didn't have any issues in. This is the one we got drunk in. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is not the super nice one where they tried to kill us. Oh, <laughs> the nice one was where we got moitered. Yeah, the super nice one is where they tried to murder us. Okay. The okay. looks fine place is, is fine. Sorry, all the alcohol has made my memory a little a little fuzzy. Yeah, for sure. You and me both. You and me both. <laughs> Uh, I mean, if we're good here, I think we should we should stay here and then like celebrate our last night as yeah, like as alive. Not having yeah, we also have to spend a lot of money on like equipment and yeah, stuff. We're about so to have to a lot of money. Like, I have a feeling that some of this stuff's going to cost more than we have. Maybe we about that. maybe we could um, talk our way into a round of drinks from the. If we just mention that we're gonna go in the jungle and save everyone, what if I played a song? It was gonna say you could sing. Yeah. If if you, you can, can pay for our drinks, then I'll stay and drink. But I'm not gonna pay money for a drink. Like, I'm spending at least two gold on a meal out of my own pocket because I'm gonna I eat. Go... A... Okay. Yeah. Uh, I just go to the corner just to like type, like write down some notes on a on my paw. <laughs> you have like three beans and you like write three letters <laughs> cat yeah. hold on let me write my song on my paw <laughs> do you have any room to write because we humans we got like all sorts of skin but like you got like three jelly beans and that's like... it <laughs> three toe beans and really small. yeah you have to like math class note card that thing like get really tiny on it you're, you're actually writing notes holy shit oh my yeah I, I wanna, I wanna I'm gonna eat a last meal because that's what I Excellent. that's what I'm anticipating you give it a big slab of dino steak with a lot oh, yeah. of bread and there's like a stew that goes with it um the, the steak is cooked to the perfection of your choice um and it's very, very tasty. There's some local greens served with it and some, some root vegetables. Mm, it's all so good. This will be my last meal until months in the jungle. But it's to save the world, so that's kind of what we do. It is what we do. Wait a minute. Jax, aren't you... You, you know how to magic a thing. Uh, do you know how to make food? I can certainly make food better, I think. Oh, it's just a... Some wizards, they can just like... They can blah, and like bacon will just fly from their fingertips and... Flying bacon fingers! <laughs> yeah, like that. Or pull a salad, salad from your beard. Or that. <laughs> can, you, can you pull a salad from your beard? I Only after I eat salad. 
Yeah. Of that ability. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. So other than that, then I'll pass on eventfully. I, Jax, you were working on something, right? <laughs> Trying to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Well, Jax is working on her thing. Uh, what's everyone else doing? We got a big meal. Eating rich food, drinking rich liquor. I'm sitting at a table and I'm doing some math on what this is going to cost us. Okay. I did just put all the costs. Yeah. I did just put all the costs for a bunch of different stuff in the chat there. Mm -hmm. We're going to be broke as. We are going to be broke AF. We're going to get so much treasure or whatever. It's funny because it's actually looking like it's less than I thought it was going to be. So. Right, but think about how much all of that's going to cost for six months. I, I know. Trust we'll, find, we'll find more. In the first month, we'll probably find like three billion gold on the ground. At least three billion, yeah. Just laying around. I mean, no yeah, people idea. just drop And it's them. not. We'll just like strangle more kobolds and lizard people until they drop all their coins or whatever. Who's going to loot? People We've always coins. made you... All of our fortune has been on the backs of those that have tried to defy us. <laughs> That's true. I'm we sure that will come up well to do. Um, um, I mean, I would like to go around the, the, where we are, the, in the lobby and yep. ask if there's anyone willing to sell us, like, some antitoxin, if they have it, if there's enough, or maybe some. Ah, uh, we each need some of these things. I would like to just I ask have... if there's anyone here who has any of the items that we need in enough quantity. Just like even <laughs> one thing that we could cross our list tonight. Craigslist free? Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody I've got sheep to sell you. Short list. For our quest. You got a shovel in your back pocket? I've got some sheep to sell you. Of course. <laughs> Ooh, some sheep. sheep food. Well, sheep skin, if you know what I mean, lass. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> or anyone who wants to be a porter for us. Gets kind of quiet and everyone looks around. Um... One person raises their hand. I'll do it. What do they look like? Uh, it's a uh, Chilton female. I'd like to buy her a female <laughs> goblet of wine for agreeing to help us. Excellent. Does she look like she's? Is she thick? Able-bodied. She does look able-bodied. <laughs> she. Uh... Yeah. Kind of has a What's tattoo her on her face on the one side. She's youngish with uh, sweat black ba uh, black hair. Has two red rings and a tattoo on her neck. Uh, what's her name? I'm Salida. Yeah, but say yeah. I is she the one the who was ring. going to be a guy potentially? <laughs> yeah. So. Too bad she couldn't yeah. service in the capacity we originally needed her for, but nope. at least she'll be able to help us. She might. We, we haven't hired her in the same capacity she was asking for, so she might not be happy about us. Oh, well, we said porter. We didn't say guide. We asked for a porter, and she raised her hand. I'm having deja vu right now. This is weird. I literally dreamt, dreamt or felt like we had this conversation before. Anywho, I get deja vu all the time. The I feel you. It's Maybe another vision. <laughs> that means that uh. Mr. Smith has shown up. Oh, I will happily go with you. As a porter. Yes. Thank you, Salida. We appreciate your your assistance. Please, I can I buy you How a drink? You what would you like? Well. You were I don't know. We I don't know. Didn't 
we ask her? Didn't we just ask her, just her, ask her name? Her, yeah. You did. You're right. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. That was me. Maybe, that was brutal. Maybe like, we don't want to hire her. Drink? She seems a little yes, slow. Yes, I'd love a drink. <laughs> I'm like, did Shut you already up. buy her a drink? And she said yes. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she knows some more people. It's, that it's all that drinks. alcohol, right? Yes. I feel like I'm the only one drinking tonight. What the hell? Yo, hey, is Boucherib still here or did he leave? No, he left. He's in this. Damn it. <laughs> gotta go be weird somewhere else. We're, <laughs> we're potting it up without him. <laughs> weird somewhere else. <laughs> Damn. Hey, oh, so oh, Musharib oh, is our guide. Is that gonna? Is that okay? Is that cool? Oh, Don't I know do each other? Like, I do know him. He's a he's a good guy. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, insight check. He, yeah. he <laughs> said that initially. I don't think she likes him. Um, she's 100% hiding something, oh. um, but you do think she's being honest about him being a good guy. But she has okay. ulterior motives for joining this Yes. Expedition. Can it. I use detect thoughts and find out what Whoa. she's got going on there? Uh, yes. What's she hiding? Uh, she will need to make a wisdom saving throw, is that right? Uh, oh my god, this little thing in the middle of the page is not good for reading long text. Let's see, you can be able to your action, wisdom saving throw, yes. What's the DC on it? 15. What do you want to know? What are you what, what are you looking for? Um. Well, what is she hiding? She's hiding not something about Musharib. She's hiding something about. She really wants Musharib. to go into the jungle. Yeah. Um. Okay. Why does she want to go into the jungle so badly? What is there? Please hold. Bringing up notes. Uh, Okay, um, because she wants to report on the movements of people going into the jungle. Mm -hmm. Which people? Any people? Mm, yeah. Yes. To who? Now remember with the spell, you can go deeper. I'm gonna go right. deeper. Yeah. Go all, all, all the way. So this is a... I need to read the rules for this because... Uh, initially, the third thoughts of a creature is like she thinks this is a great idea for her to get more information to send back to her boss. Um, if you dig deeper, it must make a second wisdom saving throw. If it fails, you gain insight into its reasoning, its emotional state, its internal its knowledge of its mind. Uh, okay, so uh, what was the DC on that? 15. Mm -hmm. The reason that she wants to go, and this all happens in a moment, the reason she wants to go deeper into the jungle is because she is a spy for an undead Yonti master called Rasnasi, R-A-S-N-S-I, who resides in Omu, and she is a spy for him and reports wow. on the movement of adventuring parties that go into the jungle for his purposes. And she does this through a sending stone, which is on her person. She also knows you've done all this and starts to run. Oh, let's yeah. get her! Get her? Chase, give Chase. Jesus Sven Christ, took a turn. Sven yeah, tense. Yeah, takes a turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sven is the menace, get it. Uh, I'm gonna start needing some athletics checks. And she's starting. To, she literally, uh, the moment she realizes you've penetrated her brain and stolen that from her, uh, one that she knows the location of Omu, two that she talks to somebody who's in charge there, and three that you can do that with a stone that she has on her. She runs. All right, someone hey, who's not me. Does Does Kazara now know where Omu is? <laughs> is she able to clean that? I Kizara should know. Kazara, make an intelligence check. Come on, Kazara, you're smart. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I'm a 
a little you, start. You you have a general idea of its location. You know it is between, and this is on your map, the Peaks of Flame and the Valley of Lost Honor. You know it's somewhere in there. You oh. don't know exactly where. Valley of Lost Honor Valley. That's Lost down kind of close to the mine we're heading to for Musharib. Oh, okay. That narrows it down. That, yeah. Um, but, but like, shit. Okay, so... Mm, Bryn, Jack, okay. and Sven Maybe. all trying to chase after her, and we're making athletics checks for this? Yeah, because we're running. Yeah. We're probably getting up from our table and trying to leap over... Yeah, your, your athletics uh, checks... Yeah, I'll try, I'll try. Chase. It's not going to yes. go well. It it's bad. it's power. Oh. Yeah. And all right, so she's not... Uh, Bryn, you're almost able to catch up with her. She's up and out the door, and you see her turn to the left, but she is, she's gaining on you. Everyone else is already pretty far behind. You didn't you just didn't react fast enough. Uh, but you can each make uh, an additional athletics check, at, and Bryn, you are out the door and around the corner following her. Can I oh, grab no, no. my rope and, like, tie it into a lasso? And <laughs> As you're sprinting. Uh, yeah, as I'm sprinting. Here we go. Come on. We can do this. And okay. try and lasso her so she uh, can't get away. Yes. In fact, in the second round of chase, Kazara actually catches up with you, and you two are keeping a pace as you run after her down the street. This cart gets in front of both of you before you're able to swing the lasso at her. I need you both to make dexterity checks. Who both? Me and Bryn? You, you and Bryn. You're the only two really involved in this right now. Dexterity saves are fine. Yeah, dexterity saves. Uh, Kazara, you go slamming into the cart. Uh, and you're just not able to get out of the way in time and take five points of damage. But Bryn, you need to slide right under the thing and you're back up on your feet right after her. You can make a ranged attack uh, with no proficiency bonus. So it's only a d20 plus your dexterity to try and get that lasso around her. Do it. So just basically a dexterity check. This is your time. Uh, what is her AC? Ooh, less than that. This is pretty good. This is. And with a Ooh. flick of the wrist, you've got her around the waist. Uh, but oh! 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 Nice. <laughs> I need you to make a contested strength check. And she's trying to run off of it. A strength check, not a save. A check. Don't click save. Click the word strength. Oh God. No, she rolled a one, and so you've got her. <laughs> wow. So you were essentially grappled at range, uh, and Kazara, at this point, you finally caught up, and you're next to her, and she's trying to pull her in, and she's fighting to try and get off. I need one more strength check, uh, but Kazara, you can help this time trying to pull her in. Uh, I have to be strength or dex? Or Put if you have sleep. something else you'd want to try and do, it's up to you. Um, Put her to sleep. Oh, uh, yeah, I could put her to sleep or... No, I'll put her to sleep. I was like, I could reduce her, but I'm going to put her to sleep. Oh, you suck. What, level are you cast spell at? Turn her what? what level are you going to cast sleep at? Um, oh, God, what can I do sleep at? We're about oh, to go to bed, so, like, you... Yeah, blast it. You can probably just load up on this. Uh, okay. Sorry. Blow your big, salty semen so load. Shoot your wad right now. I don't know what it does at higher level. Oh, just kidding. Uh, you, get, you get more dice. You get more hit dice yeah. Roll additional 2d8 for each slot level above first. So I will cast it at third level, which nice. would be two or a... Uh, four, four, four extra d8. Four extra d8. On top Ooh! of the normal. On top of whatever you normally roll. Whatever the basic is, plus four d8s. Remember your training, Kazara. <laughs> And then roll two or four d eight. Four more d eight. Four d eight. She's asleep. Eight. Yeah. yeah. She Fucking coma. Forty four. <laughs> yes. Asleep. Dude. Okay. Um, what does that look like? What is Max? And sleep as go? she falls asleep, you now see her in her true form. Yes. <gasps> Which is a yon T. Uh, female. Uh, she is a a uh, a half, what do they call them? A half blooded yon T. Um, or I'm sorry, yeah. a yon T pure blood. 
which are the ones who look human with the snake-like features. So she's got like the one lady we met. Yeah, like the one lady you met before. But it's not her. But it's not her. I'm telling you, they're all evil. This is wild, y'all. What do we do with this? This. What do we do with this? First, she will only remain asleep for so long. I would say that, like, maybe we've caught up by now and we're all together. Uh, yeah, by now you have caught up. Okay. Let's get her all tied up so we don't have to worry yeah, about her. Like, 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 also, are we in like a back alley here? Like, no, you're in a main we... street. <laughs> main street. <laughs> I just ran out and tried to people. use the crowd to like mask her, but you guys were able to catch up, catch up with her. Catch up with her. Got it. <laughs> um, are uh, there I'm gonna... guards around? Uh, not that you see. Yeah, they're incompetent anyway. Um, citizens arrest. Uh, no, no. <laughs> God, how far away did we go from the uh, maybe 200 yards oh so it's not too far no. but it would still look weird if we were dragging the sleeping I'm going to take the lasso and I'm going to start to tie her up if she's asleep maybe we don't need to have her tied up yet I'm going to I'm going to start tying her up that's fine yeah go ahead whatever make a survival check survival Oh, man, I thought, see if you can I survive the nuts. I thought I'd use my dexterity. Well, whatever. You there have you to go. know how to tie knots to tie knots, and you are unable to even fashion a knot that you think will hold her. You know that you failed. Yeah. I say, let me see that, and I try. Good luck. You think there it'll you hold? Go. Cool. You've got her by the hands and the feet, the ankles and wrists. What do we do with this? So do we have? We don't have rooms yet, do we? Oh, you have, yeah, do we? Your rooms from last yeah, we got rooms. Um, give me. Uh, I wanna. I wanna. I wanna pilfer. Oh, no, I don't wanna you get that. You don't have rooms, actually. That's true. Also, um, I could. Hey, can... Kazara, while we were running, you told us all this, right? That's what I was oh, yeah. saying. Okay, cool. Like, so we know. We know way, all the stuff. Wait. By the way, she has cast... the sending stone hey, that I just want to hey. grab. Uh, I could cast invisibility on her, so we could take her back to. Our room. You can try. But can I please get the sending stone before you do that? Yeah. Thanks. Uh, make an it's on her. Check. Investigation check. Okay. She's asleep and tied up. Do I get advantage? You're in the middle of a crowded uh, street. And she's over someone's shoulder. Uh, not out oh. here. You guys are getting jostled around. There's dinosaurs walking by you. It's just you, you're going to have to get somewhere before you can give her a thorough searching, a good mm -hmm. cavity search. All right, let's yeah, let's take her back to the end. Okay, so I would like to cast invisibility on her with. with She's my invisible. Is there like a back door or anything or side door to this hotel? Oh, or it is right next to an alley. Uh, and there's kind of a cook's entrance back there. Can we kind of like drag her over there towards the alley and kind of all go towards the alley? For sure. Okay. You guys get into a back alley. There's nobody back there, but you do smell some awesome food cooking. Um, can I, I would like to have noticed if somebody was like paying special attention to what we were doing. Uh, I mean, lots of people noticed the chase, but, but they like, kind of went back about their business. Okay, that's what I was wanting to know. If anybody just kind of lingered a little long on that. Okay. You have to let it linger. So what are you guys doing? Okay, so should we try and make her invisible and then go get rooms and take her upstairs, or should she's we tie her up? Now. She's already she's invisible. Yeah. And she's invisible oh, she's and invisible. tied up already. <laughs> Both of those. Okay. So, just so you can room. try and search her now because we're out of the way. Yeah, I'll do that. Search those cavities. Jesus Christ, luck. Okay. <laughs> I'm using luck to do it again. Okay. There, there we go. Is. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you find a small emerald stone on her that's very finely cut uh, and has the... Uh, there's a, a snake uh, kind of swirling about embezzled, uh, embezzled bezzled in it. <laughs> I don't know where my brain is tonight, guys. I'm sorry. Let's pocket that. Was there anything else fun? Uh, she's got like 20 gold on her. You're going to loot her? I mean, she's yes. kind of evil. Yeah, she's, yeah, fuck her. 
Uh, I'm fine. Uh, my scimitar. A second meal. Can I, I was gonna say, can I go investigate this food that I'm smelling? Yeah, there's Ghost is just gonna use his sniffer and lead me right to it. Yeah. Uh you enter the kitchen and people look up. Yo, you're you're not supposed to be back here. Are we just leaving her in the alley or what are we doing? Oh, that's what well, I just walked off I mean, we took her sending stone away so she can't talk to her boss, but that doesn't mean anything. Like she can still go there. Or maybe she can go get friends. Like, do we need to like try to turn her into authorities or say, hey, look at this Yuan T and they're gonna be like, ah shit. I said we could try to give her to authorities, but I think we should like destroy her sending stone. Oh, I want it. I want that thing. But couldn't they still be spying through it? They're gonna know what we're doing because we're holding it. it. Okay. So uh point of order. Do I know how a sending stone works? Absolutely not. <laughs> cool. I would like to Does, do any of us know how a sending stone works? Do you, any of you have the spell I identify? Oh. I think if I lick it, it becomes mine. That's all I know. <laughs> if you do not have the spell I identify. Well, it's in my front pocket, so you're going to have to get dangerously close to another You can see, put your mouth on it. All right, Even let's go Even Kazara's here. knowledge that this is indeed the sending stone, but you have no idea how it works if both people need to be conscious, you have no idea how it works. You n- nothing. And there's that's not going to be easy to destroy. That's not uh, something we can somebody just... we could, like, interrogate about it. There, yeah. I vote we smash the stone and turn her into authorities. How do they feel about... Oh, Ooh. they like... Do they like Yonti here? Nobody likes have... Yonti. You haven't seen yeah. the yeah. in the city. Yeah, I'm assuming nobody likes a Yonti. Yay! For what? Yay. What I know is that. <laughs> uh, and then we don't have to worry about killing her or any of that other weird stuff that always happens. I don't want to kill her. Right? Yeah, that's my, That's just my two cents. Because that At we, this point, it's murder, and I'm not interested in that. We always tie them up. We're like, should we kill them? Guess we gotta. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, this person was not actively doing something evil. Therefore, I don't feel an urge to kill this person. Um, I, I want to, I want to, I mean, if we wait until she, ah, Jesus. What do we know do about Rosnasi? Yeah, do we need to know anything? I mean, you've never heard that name before. Ross Nasi is his name. Ross Nasi. R-A-S-N-S-I, Ross Nasi. Um, and you've literally never heard that name before. Although, uh, you do get a picture of what he looks like in your mind. A second. When you, from having uh, read her thoughts, glad we didn't pick that guy, huh? I know, right? That I mean, it just still went downhill a little bit, but <laughs> that went to shit. <laughs> we, we uh, yeah, that'll do. Got, uh, we'll show you this. This could have gotten ugly, but it went, it went great. Oh, what's okay. up? Okay. He looks like a jerk. Yeah. Ha! Yeah, that's what he looks like. Hmm. What a jerk! What a jerk <laughs> that guy is. <laughs> I mean, I still say we smash the sending stone and turn her in, and then just like go on with our business. Because this what is I'll like, just say. like, there's basically the way I see it, we either wait till she wakes up and interrogate her ourselves or we just say, hey guys, here's the sleeping Yuan T. Have fun. Well, I mean, we already know what she knows, don't That's we? Well, you know one round's worth of information of what she did. Yeah. That's true. All right. Well, Ooh, it's you know, you were able to read she's... her brain for approximately 12 seconds. Hey, so if she's asleep, can... I don't know, Kazara, if she's asleep, can you still read her thoughts, or would we only, like... She has to be able to make a saving throw, and she's not conscious, I don't think, to be able uh, to do she, she will be at disadvantage on a saving throw, because she's not yeah. conscious. She oh, can... so you could learn it's everything like... she knows. Would... Yeah. Kazara, do you think that this would wake her up if you did that? I don't think so. I it, The worst case scenario is I wouldn't be able to learn anything because she'd be too passed out. Let's find out what weird snaky sex dreams. I want to. I want to make sure she's tied <laughs> up. Like she's tied. We're inside. We're in our room now, right? 
and she wakes yeah. up because it only lasts a minute and starts struggling Damn. with spawns. Let me go! Let me out! Definitely not. Why would we do Why'd that? Why'd you run? What do you want? Because that one was Why'd peering into my brain. Yeah, we don't like what she found. What she found is none of your business. It is our business because you're spying on us. Yeah. You're going and you jungle. wanted to go There's with us spying. on our quest. Why does it matter if we're going into the jungle? We'll be going into my master's territory. He deserves to know who travels there. What does your master want? What's, what do you mean, what does my master want? He wants to control his territory. He wants to bring about the revival of his great god. He wants to ensure that the Yonti survive. Who's his great god? Should I tell you that, Keithan? Because I asked? No reason for me to talk. Okay. Uh, I'll cast uh, Detect Thoughts on her again. Do it. Doesn't really work like that, but um, my DC is 15. <laughs> yep. Uh, so her surface thoughts are, I want to get the fuck out of here. My cover has been blown. He's probably going to kill me. Mm. Let's see. Detect the presence of thinking creatures you can't see. Uh, da, 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 da. So, hey, guys. Well, I, as, as an action, I can attempt to probe deeper into the same creature's mind. If you probe deeper, the target will make a, win, a wisdom saving throw. If it fails, you gain insight into it, its reasoning, its emotional state, and something that looms large in its mind. Did she just try to make a saving? The, do you know anything about the Dark Deva? Does that name ring a bell? No. Insight check. Insight check, yeah. Oh, shit. I would also Seems, like to make an Can we try and yeah, persuade yeah. her? At disadvantage. Um, but with your insight check, you, you do not believe she is lying. But yes, yeah, so at disadvantage, you can attempt to persuade her. Are we digging deeper, Kazara? I thought we did, because she to dig deeper, she has to make a wisdom saving throw, which I thought you just rolled DM, right? Yeah, and she failed. Um, Somebody else needs to try and persuade her, because I so, will not see. I'll take a crack at it. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. I'm, well, let me answer one question at a time. Yeah. I'm looking up some notes here. Okay. Uh, ask me a couple questions, Kazara. Uh, what? Who does Rastasi worship? Who is this god that he's worshiping? He's the chosen of Utah. Oh no, uh, wait, that's wrong. Haha. <laughs> um, oh, he, he is the champion of Dendar the Night Serpent. Mm. Dendar. D e n d a r. The Night Serpent. Sounds like an asshole. Um, how does the sending stone work? No. That's not what I asked. It wasn't a yes or no question. <laughs> mm. How does the sending stone work? Make persuasion check with disadvantage. Is it this part of her reading her mind? It absolutely is. Wow, this is deep stuff then. Yeah. Uh, your, every question is taking you deeper. Yes. Ooh. Uh, Suck it, bitch. <laughs> she rolled nice. an eight. You must Drink deep of her secrets. It sees what I see. It hmm. sees whatever who's attuned to it sees. Oh, so they have to be thought. attuned. I can, con I can, uh, with a thought, sorry, I lost my train of thought. With a thought, I can communicate with the person who holds the other. All the time? As yes. long as you both are holding it? I can communicate with him whether he's holding it or not. He just may not. Okay. Would you, like, leave a message on his mental answering machine or something if he's not around? Or No, you have to, <laughs> the person has to be there. 
Okay. But the person has to be attuned to it. So if you're not attuned, then it's blind. Yes. How do you become attuned? Meditate. Yeah, you're keeping your possession for now. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to relay this to the rest of the party. Yeah. Okay, I think that's... Is there anything else you guys want to know? Since I'm rolling hot <laughs> dice tonight. One of the things you notice, actually, uh, you've been doing really well on your, your checks on her, um, is in the image you get of Ross Nassi, he looks a lot like some of the other people you have seen who are suffering from the death curse. Mm. Hmm. That's interesting. Um, reminder, what do they look like? Are they... Uh, it looks like their skin starts to gray, wounds fail to heal, old wounds open up. Um, it's as if their life is being leached away from them slowly. Okay. Well, um, I'll ask her one last, I guess I can't, I can't think of anything else, but one last okay. thing is, um, if Rasnasi is suffering from the death curse, who put that death curse on him? Yeah, what does, who put the death curse? Where did he get the death curse from? He suffers from the same curse everyone who's been resurrected suffers from. He's been resurrected, okay. Mm. Okay. And with that, um, you're out of her brain again. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking, I don't know. Does Dendar have anything to do with this death curse? Or this particular guy's death curse? Or... I still want to turn her in. Mm -hmm. I don't want to smash her sending stone. Or I guess if no one, if he had to be tuned to it, then yeah. if we hold on to it, it wouldn't be an issue. Maybe we could sell but, it. Or, yeah. yeah, we could sell it. Or if we were holding on to it, I guess after a certain point, someone would become attuned to it if they were holding on to it long enough. Well, you have to actively be focusing on it, right? Like you have to yeah. be trying to attune. So as long as oh, no okay. one tries to attune to it, it's fine. It's just a, like you take the phone off the hook and it's just. It's well. Just a, would they confiscate the Sending Stone, or should we not tell the authorities that she had it? I don't want to tell them, but I'm deceptive by nature. This is true. Well, no, I want to turn her into the authorities. Hard, yeah. Yeah. And if they decide want, they yeah, yeah. confiscate it. We'll keep it. No, we're going to keep it. We're not going to tell them that we have it. We're just going to turn her in. Because okay. I don't trust these guards to keep those two things separate. I mean, I feel like they're going to ask us why we're turning her in if we're not going to tell them. She's a Yuan-T. And she, uh, True. yeah, I don't know. She's a Yuan-T. She tried okay. to cast a spell on us. Let's, uh, I want to flag, if there's anyone nearby, that like a guard or someone nearby, I want to flag them down and be like, this yuan -T who found us just trying to kill us and we've tied her up nice I nice did not try to kill them. They read my mind. Sure thing, snake lady. Uh, he does not look <laughs> like he believes her and goes, what? what? Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to need a couple more guards. I'll be right back. And he yeah, runs off. We're, we're here. Uh, gets a couple more guards and about two minutes later he's back and they, they take her and, and she looks back at you and goes, you will pay. Pay for this! Yeah. <laughs> and it's dragon. Looks like we chose the right guide. Yes, we well, did. Yeah. At least we didn't choose one of the wrong ones. <laughs> this has just opened up my mind to knowing that, like, maybe some other ones are also... We're getting bamboozled all over the place. Yeah. That's why I said make us. a point to talk shit about one of the other guides. You're bad news. All right, we got to create a vetting process. We got to create like this social meat grinder that we put new people <laughs> we through. Form. We got to hate people. every NPC we meet. It's like giving <laughs> massive wedgies. Like, I don't know. It's like the only thing I can say is like Musharib has been brutally honest with us. Maybe he might be trying to get extra stuff out of us, but 
Yeah. Like he's not sugarcoated anything. He's just been like, yeah, you, this is how it is. Yeah. Yeah. He That's hasn't offered to pay for a single thing. That's why I trust salty old grumpy people like that guy. <laughs> Everyone else is just dirt. <laughs> <laughs> right. he, he's not well it's our expedition we're hiring him why would he pay for stuff yeah we're the employers here so we have <sighs> well guys is it bedtime yeah let's kill him feels like bedtime <laughs> yeah let's uh, oh. put everyone to bed I've eaten two I great meals sing and... a song before we go to bed the rest I, of the young team. Oh, I yeah, let's do that. Uh, so. Yes. I would like to flag, I would just like to flag down the bar. He'd be like, uh, sir, I just, I was wondering if I could go up there and play a song. Is that. Oh, okay? I remember you. Of course you can. <laughs> Sweet. So, they I. Remember uh, you, Jack. They remember you. <laughs> cool. Growing that thing. Um, so I'm just gonna jump up on stage and be like, so I wrote this original number. Um, going into a faraway place. Hopefully we don't get sprayed in the face with mace. <laughs> on our journey unto the unknown. Oh balls, I hope we're not fucked. Oh <laughs> balls, oh balls, oh big hairy balls. Oh, balls, I hope we're not fucked. And then they asked everyone to sing the chorus with me. Oh, balls. <laughs> oh, balls. Oh, big oh, balls. Balls. Oh, balls. Oh, balls. Oh, balls. I hope oh, balls. we're not oh, fucked. fucked. Balls. <laughs> That's awesome. Balls. Take an inspiration. Wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that's awesome. And on that amazing song, that's actually where we're going to end for the evening. Um, because if we go much further, you're actually going to start the expedition. That feels like a good place to start the next session. Yeah. So that's, this is this is where we shall end, having gained some critical information and the night having taken a turn I did not expect. We <laughs> we end our session here. Yay! All right. So thank you guys for playing. I hope you have fun tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Indeed. Cool. Okay. Well, um, thanks everyone who was watching too. That's really awesome. Uh, that folks came and hang out, and we got some bits and some followers and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so I've got. Uh, can someone do the shout out for me? My shout out bot works. I know that. I want to give a big shout out to Kimages because she's amazing. Um, she is playing Kazara, our sorcerer, uh, who has a, a druidic sort of bond on her at the moment as well. Um, and then there's uh, the Nancy Drew who is playing Jax, our big, hairy, bald <laughs> bard, uh, who is amazing. Uh, oh, and got the shout out already. Awesome. And then there's, of course, Bamboomerang, also known as Noah, also known as our elderly fighter, Sven, who uh, streams at Bamboomerang. <laughs> He's old. He's decrepit. And, yeah. Uh, and then Vim, of course, is played by the one, the only, the indefatigable Van Rand. Um who you can see streaming literally every day. Literally every day. Um, and then, of course, Bryn, who we love and is here and is awesome and doesn't have a Twitch channel, so you can't shout her out. But we love her anyways. Um, you guys want to say anything before we head out? Oh. No, everyone, go follow Bye. me. Because I'm on hiatus, so just Bye. go follow me. Love your faces. Love yeah, your faces. all the love you want to send to me, send to all of them. Oh. Yeah. Okay, guys. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.